Are you hurt? Are you alright? Yes, I'm, I'm very well, thank you. All thanks to you. What happened to me? I, I, I slipped. But you caught me. Oh, my prince, you shouldn't have done that. You risked your life. Yes, yes. I, I remember. You tried to fall. I rescued you, yes. Yes, I did. Prince, you shouldn't have done that. You and I know you shouldn't have done that. But wait. Is your life unimportant to you? What if you had broken your head and bled to death? I believed. Ah, that was so close. It is best I leave this palace. Please. My prince, permit me to leave this palace just so we, we stop running into each other and having these casualties. Please, let Princess. me go. Princess, we had an agreement. You promised you will never talk about leaving me again. I tried to warn you about the water on the floor, but the music was too loud. It is in your best interest to stay apart. Today, the prince is not recover. Despite the fact that the princess stayed away. The dark cloud is getting more furious. Trying to claim the heart of this prince without bringing it back. Let what happened today not repeat itself again until the solution is found. It's okay. Take it. You must use your mind to stay apart. Okay. 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 This is a memorable day. I'm excited to begin this new challenge 
and alliance with the people of Colossae Kingdom. The royal marriage of the decade is about to happen. <laughs> and I'm so proud of our children for the bold step they have taken. Yeah. To me, it's telling us that the diamond still white. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Your Majesty. It takes boldness to fall in love. And it takes more courage to decide for marriage. Good. Our children, the prince of Badua Kingdom and the princess of Kolosi Kingdom are really making us proud. And I am happy. I'm <laughs> happy, very, very happy. I agree. <laughs> Your Majesties. Yeah. This is fated by the gods. Exactly. And I am sure it's going to be a royal wedding of the decade. Exactly. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Your Majesties. Um, Thank you. I thank the gods for a beautiful opportunity like this. I've been waiting for this moment. So I'm going straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> My queen. <laughs> They say life is all about love and love is the true meaning of life. Yes. I love you. Oh. <laughs> and I have one question to ask you. And if you say yes, I'll be the happiest man on earth. <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Wait, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you. What? Beyonce fell ill the moment he came close to me. What is going on? Don't panic, my daughter. Stop panicking. Relax. The answer to your questions will be getting very soon. Yes. Stop panicking. Yes, sir. I'm sure the real physician will have something to say about this. This may be a minor health challenge. Let's wait for him. I hear what he has to say. This, this cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. Mother, I have waited so long for this. My princess, I said relax. Nothing is happening. It's going to be all right. Okay? We really have to run along now. We have envoys from the neighboring kingdom to take good care of, to host today. All right? We must be on our way now, but please, once you go, make sure you come back to us on time. All right? Let's go. My love, stop worrying yourself. Hmm? Everything will be fine, okay? Please take care of yourself. Oh. Safe travels. Thank you.
my sake. Mm. Uh, Prince, I can't see anything wrong with you. Your vitals seem normal. You are as healthy as anyone. You don't have any problem. No cause for alarm. That's a relief. But what could have caused him to suffocate twice? Nothing actually. But what was he doing when this happened? He was about to propose to me. Oh, he was overexcited. So what could be responsible for that? Medically, nothing would have caused this. Uh, but I think uh, I will have to come back to take his blood sample to run some tests. I think um, medically there will be an explanation. Mm. Hmm. So I want to go and come back. It's okay. It's, 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 it's the problem. This is what I don't like. I'm so happy that you're dead already. That's... What's the problem? I called both of you to speak to you. Yesterday was supposed to be a memorable day for the two kingdoms. But the unpredictable happened. We want both of you to calm down. Don't entertain any wild thoughts. The royal physician will give us an answer once the test result is out. Until he comes out with the findings, you are both advised to maintain social distance. How long are we supposed to stay apart for? My prince, I understand how you feel. But the feeling is mutual, believe me. Lately, I have been thinking that maybe something is trying to separate us, or perhaps I am cursed. Any man I get close to gets hurt. I don't expect you to sound like this, Princess. Who knows if I am sick? Try to be positive, okay? So, it's nobody's fault. You advise not to entertain wild thoughts and um, maintain social distance. I'm sure in no distant time everything will be fine. Let's just maintain positivity, that's all. Your Majesty, after running an extensive test, I've returned. The test is still negative. The prince is all right and he's in good condition. So, what medical explanation would you give to what happens to my son and precious lady, whatever they need? Your Majesty, perhaps. Uh, Medicine does not have an answer to this situation. It's probably something you're not doing right. Perhaps you're missing some tiny details. No, your, your Prince, I did not miss anything. You are healthy. Your heart is in good condition. The, the, the answer you seek is not with medicine. Maybe psychological or spiritual. Are you saying this is a spiritual reoccurrence? I'm saying for something so strange, all factors should not be overlooked, Your Majesty. Unfortunately, I don't believe in spiritual attacks. 
I'll reach out to other medical experts. And I'm very hopeful they would find something you're not seeing. My prince, just maybe he's right. How do you explain that each time I come close to you, you, you begin to choke? I think it is more of a spiritual problem than medical. Who knows? I am cursed. It is my doing. Princess, please don't say that. Let us take the physician's advice and uh, explore other possibilities. Until we do that, do not entertain any wild thoughts. Please. Mm -hmm. yourself killed I can't stand to see my love cry I feel so sad about it it is no fault of yours I am hurting as well but I am hurting because I cannot stand the thoughts of not being close to you but at the same time I cannot endanger your life mm. I miss hugging you. It was never like this between us. It wasn't. This too shall pass. Henceforth, my prince, you have to keep your distance. I hate to see you suffer like this. I need to see you suffer like this. Please keep your distance up until your solution is found. If you do not keep away from me, I will leave this palace. Are you trying to leave me? Would that make you happy? If it will keep you safe, yes, I will gladly leave. You don't have to leave. I promise to keep my distance. But promise me you're not going to leave. Please. Oh. Promise me you're not going to leave. I promise to keep my distance. So long as you keep your distance, I promise. I will not leave you. <sighs> what sort of sad love is this? You're looking at your loved one, but you can't even go close because you're scared of dying. Honestly. This is indeed a sad love story. Do you think there will ever be a solution? Mm. At the risk of the future king's life? I mean, that would be considered recklessness. You're right. I feel they should just, you know, end everything. 
Yes. Because this love is nothing but painful and sorrowful. They should just end it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the stress at all. Hey, but they could fight for this love. Yes. Could it be the princess has a lover in the spiritual realm? That hate her getting close to another man. I disagree with you. I feel the prince is not meant for the princess. Why would you say that? How do you mean? It's very obvious. I think I should go close to him and see if he will suffocate. Oh, really? And what if he doesn't? <laughs> Fine then. If he doesn't, it means I belong to the prince <laughs> and not you the are princess. Asking for punishment. Stay away from the prince. He is engaged and he will get married soon. This your ambition and curiosity can get you killed one day. Excuse me. Please, madam, take a chill pill. I was only joking. So don't get yourself worked up. Is that enough? So my friends, you mean each time you get close to her, you start suffocating? Yeah. That has been my experience. Thank you. Yeah, that's enough. Please, please. Yeah, to answer your question, um, that has been my experience so far. When I go close to her, I begin to feel like something controls me. And as soon as I detach myself from her, I feel better. This is strange. I mean, you're not sick. But each time you get close to her, you get sick. Exactly. What do we call this? <sighs> the type of sickness that has no name and has no cure. It has no medicine. We've been asked to seek spiritual solution. Hmm. Spiritual solution? I don't believe in spiritualism. I don't. This could be your heart busting out of excitement over the love you have for her. Because I know you love her so much. And maybe at this point, you're so excited that it's beginning to hurt your chest. Or maybe that's what I think. Steve, yeah. I wish things were that easy. However, I still do not believe in spiritualism. I strongly believe that there must be a scientific explanation of this entire situation. Yeah, I agree with you. I know you miss her so much. Yes, I do. I miss her. Mm. Don't worry. Everything will soon turn to normal, okay? Ah, uh, my great friend. Bobo, I welcome you and your wife in my palace. Thank you. Yeah. I have wanted to make this visit, as a matter of fact, because it's been a while I visited their kingdom. To be more sincere, I missed that fresh palm wine you might sell me with when I come. <laughs> I've told my wife so many about that special palm wine. <laughs> My king, you know we've been friends for ages now. That's right. It gladdens my heart to have you around me, and it will be my pleasure to have you in my kingdom. As a matter of fact, we are actually going to the neighboring village before we decided to make a U-turn to see the king of Badue kingdom. I see. <laughs> Once again, uh, you're welcome. Apparently, Messin failed to provide uh, explanation and solution to the princess uh, Hathax. Whenever he meets the princess, that's a situation as it were. And I must tell you, it's a critical time had to deal with. I think we should make some consultations. We have to consult the gods. This is more than our stomach can digest. 
we are on the same wavelength. As a matter of fact, I have been breathing over this, and I know we must consult and provide solution to all this because the couple have been advised to maintain social distance. So, I can't imagine what they are going through. It must be very, very hard on them. The lovebirds cannot stay without touching each other. You read my mind. That is more reason we should hurry and look for solution to all these strange occurrences so that this royal wedding will hold soon. Well, I still remember. I missed our trouble most. You don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> <That's done. laughs> oh, you made this for me. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. And what do we have here? <gasps> we have some chicken. Yeah. You like it? Quite thoughtful of you. You're welcome. Come here. The rice is really spicy too. I, I know. Is. You're welcome. Yeah. I, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my prince. I, 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 I totally forgot. I, 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 I forgot, I forgot. So, so sorry. So sorry, my prince. I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. My prince, my prince, please. Please, Kevin. I'm sorry. You need to come back. Come back. Please, come. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. I I go way too excited because of this. I'm sorry. I it it skipped my mind. I mean, what was it's I okay. thinking? It's okay. It's okay. I guess I haven't gotten used to staying far away from you. Me too. Listen. I noticed you've been sad. I just wanted to make you happy. And you succeeded in making me happy. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, please. It's okay. Oh, oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Jesus. You know you really got me here. What the hell is going on? Oh. There seems to be a lot running in your mind, my queen. What bothers you? I can't stop thinking about the words of the priest. I've never had any reason to doubt his abilities. But in this scenario, I am questioning his words. I know it's very difficult for you to understand and accept considering how badly we've wanted this marriage to work but then the priest cannot lie we must do everything within our means to protect the children i understand but saying they are ill-fated that they are not meant to be is what i will not accept considering the way they met in the first place that could only be fate. Your Majesty. Yes, my good friend. Can you imagine? The people of Sana Sana Kingdom has refused to negotiate. They are crossing any of my boundaries are trying to take my land by force. Mm. If the people of uh, Sana Sana Kingdom has refused peaceful negotiation, then they're asking for war and they must give it to them. That is the last result. But you know, my king, I'm a peaceful man. And I value the lives of my people, the people in my kingdom, so much that I wouldn't like them to lose their lives. Needless going to war if there are other solutions that amount to no bloodshed. 
I think there should be a better solution. I go find I understand your constraint. But you see, when people poke you so hard and you do nothing, they will take it to be weakness and might even come to invade your home. They have started with your borderline and very soon they will encroach your palace if you let them. Hmm, the people, they are aware of my weakness and I know they will use that as an advantage. Your Majesty. Joining my condition, I would want to ask for you to release your army, your military, to join my own force so that I have a successful battle. What? Oh, so what you're asking for is quite difficult. Considering the fact that the people of Sanasana Kingdom and my people have no problems. So joining you to fight them would mean, you know, creating a meeting when there is none. However, I would have loved to help a friend that I now consider my brother. Nevertheless, there's a way to go about it so that uh, joining you to fight them will be justifiable. Hmm. So, what are you suggesting? Well, uh, marriage? Marriage between the two kingdoms will send uh, a strong signal as family. You know, family fight for each other. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> you got it? Yes. Is that supposed to be a proposal for royal marriage uh, between the princess of Colossi Kingdom and the prince? of Baduwe Kingdom. This is the only justifiable means to join you in the war against the people of Sanasana Kingdom and it will be a justifiable case. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. That's brilliant. <laughs> very, very brilliant. <laughs> it would be a nice idea okay. to have an old friend oh. as an in-law. You know. Well, we have no other choice. We have to tell our queens about this and prepare our children towards this unavoidable marriage. I will silence them into absolute withdrawal. <laughs> I don't know what the kings are thinking. Telling us to bring sworn enemies together and make them couple. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. This is mission impossible. Mission impossible. The prince and the princess hated each other since when they were kids. How do we even consider asking the impossible for them? Now that they are grown-ups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't see it happening. You know. The kings are thinking impossible. And they expected the queens to help them achieve that impossible. Where do we start from? Mm -hmm. Well, we could start by telling them this is their new duty. They must fulfill for their kingdoms. Yes. When it comes to royal or political marriage, what heart feels doesn't matter. What matters is the benefit. Mm. Mm. But I think that will be possible if our children does not believe in love. Son, I have been looking for the right time to tell you this. His Majesty and I have found a wife for you the future queen of this kingdom. Yes, she's everything you would wish in a woman. 
just strong, resilient, brave. She's a charismatic girl, and uh, I must tell you this sincerely. Having her as a member of this royal family is a plus. Yes. Your Majesty, that's a brilliant idea. But I wish you said this to me earlier, like a year ago. I would have considered. But unfortunately, I have uh, someone I want to spend the rest of my life with. Wait a minute. Are you saying you've been seeing another woman for the past one year without mentioning it to us? Who is she? What does she look like? Where do I start from? Mother, she looks like everything you described and more. Yeah. Father, kindly permit me to bring her over. I'd like you to meet her. Oh. <sighs> well, bring her home. Let's see if she's worth becoming your wife and the future queen. But we, we do not approve of her yet. Uh, I hope this is clear. My son, your happiness matters to us. And we will be honest with what is best for you or not. We will love to meet this young girl. We have spoken so much about it affection. And she should be very fast. She's actually tasking my patience. Yes, she is. Hello, mother. Hello, father. I'm actually in a haste. I need to return in time for something. Please. My daughter, we asked you to visit us, but you refused to come home. We are left with no other choice but to come and meet you like this. Yes, my princess. You always hated it whenever we show up at your office with cards. That is why we call you into the car for a discussion that can not wait. I'm sorry, but I want to thank you for your understanding. The truth is, I intend coming home this weekend. But seeing you here now means that whatever it is, cannot wait up until my return. Lily, my daughter, time is of essence. Time and time is of essence. My daughter, you have this last duty for this noble kingdom. We've been able to secure a marriage alliance for you. He is a prince. He's a prince. But, but father, you, you, you promised, you, you gave me your words that I will marry the one I love, the person I love, that it is never going to be based on some political arrangement. Why are you going back on your promise? My princess, if this wasn't crucial, your father would not be pressuring you. His majesty and the entire kingdom need this alliance to survive. Can't you do this as the royal daughter that you are? Mother, what about me? What about my feelings? What about what I want? Do I just burn and vanish as a result of a loveless and political marriage arrangement? The truth is, I cannot and will not fulfill this. No, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I have someone in mind, and I love this person with every fat bar in me. That is the one I am going to marry. Lily, my daughter, you need to listen to words of reasoning. Excuse me, father. Excuse me, mother. I need to This run. is the last thing you can do for your kingdom. Yes.
Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, I have. It is beautiful. Thank you. I mean, this is grand. Yeah, yeah. You like the color? Of course, I do. Oh. It's. It's. Uh, I love brown colors, actually. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know. So, uh, I'm going to take you around the house and show you places. Ah! Look who we have here. Igwe. Yes. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Um, this is the love of my life, Princess Lily from Kolosi Kingdom. Princess, kindly meet my father, the king, and that's my mother, the queen. Your Majesty, my name is Princess Lily, the daughter of King Obuwa II of Kolosi Kingdom. Your father is my bosom friend. We've been friends since we were boys. <laughs> right. So I'm proud of your choice after all. Thank you, Father. You think like me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Father. Yeah. yeah. Princess Lily is like a daughter to this family. Yeah. Both of you used to be sworn enemy when you were kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and we have been praying that one day both of you will come along. Just imagine. <laughs> We thank God for today. Yeah, here we are. Mm. Come, 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 come. Ah. <laughs> Let me wait, twist wait. you. Hold on, hold on. I ah, have to I finish see. it. Oh. Because <laughs> she happens to be the lady in our mind. Yes. Oh. Yes, for you to marry. <laughs> oh, don't you see the excitement uh, of us uh, when uh, we uh, saw both save, of you coming? Save, save your breath. <laughs> I want to treat you people very well. Come on. <laughs> Uh, you have surprised me again. <laughs> Let's go eat it. Come on, my daughter, you're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You like to take this here? Yes, sir. <laughs> Your father like son. Oh, my God. Today is in great, a great day. Without so much trying hard or much ado with commands, our children found a way to be together even before we considered the possibilities. I'm enthused, I must say, sincerely. <laughs> Your Majesty. Well, yeah. I've always had this absolute faith that my daughter here, Lily, will definitely walk the right path mm -hmm. <laughs> and bring the right people. I see. I know this marriage is going to be the marriage of the decade. <laughs> I'm stupidly happy. Ah. <laughs> we are about to make a wonderful history. I, Honestly, I agree with you, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes. But um, I'm curious to know how they fell in love with each other. Mm. You know, the last time they were together, mm -hmm. they fought and vowed never to be friends. Mm. And today, like a they are lovebirds. <laughs> yes. Please. Tell us. What's the magic? How did it happen? <laughs> hey, you're a better storyteller than I am, so tell them how we met. Alright. <clears throat> so we met again at the Royal Academy, where we were chosen to perform a play together. So we were always at loggerheads because of our differences. I mean, we couldn't make it work and constantly failed. We decided to set aside our differences just so we can have um, a successful role as a couple. Oh. <laughs> we needed to pull off the perfect couple. And that was it. We had an amazing chemistry. Uh, Butterflies began to kick in. Uh, 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 and we had lots and lots of memories and sparks together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> and, um, here we are, in love with each other, and uh, planning to spend the rest of our lives together. I'm the happiest man here. <laughs> Ask I can't wait. I guess it's going to be very busy for the both kingdoms. As we have a royal marriage to prepare for. <laughs> <laughs>
You're right, my queen. Yes, even before we thought of joining them together, they already met and fell in love. What do we call that, if not fate? Your Majesty, we can't just leave them like that. We need to do something. We need to help them. I think we should find a solution. You're right. The priest must find a solution. We must consult the deities to unravel the forces behind this mishap and how to appease them. Our children deserve to be happy and this we must achieve. Come on, I know you are not in the right frame of mind to continue this. It's okay. That will be done. Come. Shit. So, my prince, did your majesty later seek the spiritual solution like he earlier said? Yes, he did. Oh, nice. But it's bad news. The chief priest thinks we are ill-fated and he wants us to quit the relationship. Ill-fated? Who decides who is ill-fated and who is not? You didn't buy that idea, did you? Good question. You see, Steve, I have never believed in spiritualism. Never. In my entire existence. And I feel very pained because each time I try to express myself in that direction, everyone thinks I'm doing something wrong, especially the chief priest. I'm going to be very honest with you. I do not believe in spiritualism. And I'll tell you why. I'm well exposed. I'm well traveled. I studied abroad. In fact, I'm a science student. We work with facts. Now, you don't expect me to believe the chief priest. He popped out of nowhere and said, oh, there's a dark cloud around your head. And that's the reason you should stay away from the love of your life. Come on, I can't do that. <clears throat> I can't do that. You see, my prince, at this point, this is looking like a mystery. I do not also believe in spiritualism. But science and medicine has failed to explain to me why you feel the way you feel whenever you're close to her. You must really miss her. Yes, I do. Oh. Steve, I miss her so much that sometimes I get really scared that I might end up not remembering what she feels like, how she smells, <sighs> how she loves me, or how I used to love her. It's that bad. And let me tell you something very important. You see, my heart beats really fast. Each time I'm close to her. And my heart equally bleeds. Each time I'm forced to stay away from her. See, my prince, I understand, but you just have to hang in there because the solution must be around the corner. I mean, you're not giving up, not now. Steve, I don't intend to stay away from the love of my life. That's my prince. Spiritual powers or no spiritual powers. I love her. And that's where it ends. Exactly. Nice to hear that. <laughs> Oh, 
Where's that from? Where? What you wear, be like boiler. I got my lamb, I'm What you wear, be like boiler. Yeah, and then let it keep on as I saw. What you wear, be like boiler. I tell me, what you wear, be like boiler. Or I saw Kaja, what you wear, be like boiler. Or we buy a bar, what you wear, be like boiler. Njaba Bumini, what you wear, be like boiler. More Marija, what you wear, be like boiler. I got my lamb, I'm What you wear, be like boiler. Your Highness, Your Majesty, you summoned me. Wise one. Last time you visited, you left me with no option than to wonder with the words you left me with. Still, I've not been able to phantom anything. It's quite unlike the way you operate, wise one. I only speak what the gods reveal. I cannot tell you what you want to hear when they have not spoken. Yes. In other words, the gods are saying that uh, they should not quit their relationship. Is that what they are saying? I said what I saw, and that cloud, too fierce and determined to set two of them apart. It should be very dangerous for anyone to try to pull them together. Wise one. Yes. I understand how deeply concerned you are about this whole thing. But you are not the one to quickly jump into conclusions when the gods are yet to speak. So I urge you, consult the deities. Find out what this mystery behind the force is. And tell us what it will take to appease them. I am willing to sacrifice anything for the happiness of my son and that of the princess. In that case, I will consult the gods again. Then I will reveal their messages to you. <laughs> hmm. Makanda gave me a sack, will you mend those etter? Gave a power for Tilon, Makijito Fima. You will permit me to go. Ogadrema. My mamma, I do so we will go. The Jito of Abrundoku. What do you know about the Mendo Setter? Ogaro Catli Mendo so good. Then, Mamma. And then I reckon then also. Ogarigo go to the GK Diabo. I do not have a cage, you work a cage, you work, you know, I'm not trying one. Do you wish to speak with me? Yes, I do. Why are you so sad and discouraged? Like someone who has lost all hope. That is exactly how I feel. I have lost all hope. I see my love and I can't embrace him. I can't rest my head on his shoulders. We cannot do the things we do. I cannot even as little as get close to him to whisper into his ears. Your Majesty, it feels like a death sentence already. My dear, we have to be brave. Fight whatever this is and be happy. I don't want to see you looking so downcast like someone 
who has lost hope and accepted defeat. Whatever you share with my son is very special and worth fighting for. Your Majesty, I agree with you. I absolutely agree with you. It is worth fighting for. But you see, one cannot fight a force he or she cannot see. Nobody knows what is going on in this palace. Nobody can actually see what is going on. Nobody can give account as to what is happening. It is, it's it is okay. a mystery. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. It's Please. a mystery I am trying to unravel, but... Just it... calm down, okay? My God, Chita, your palace radio is here to give you some information that will blow your mind. Oh, really? I don't have money to pay for this information. <laughs> you don't have to pay for this. I am ready to share this information free of charge. Please go ahead. I have discovered the reason the princess cannot go close to the prince. You did? Yes, because we heard that the chief priest could not even discover the secret behind the mystery. I mean, he couldn't see what the problem is. It's because the chief priest is scared of the royals and the deities. Huh. Yes. Hmm. That is unlikely. Okay, what did you discover? The princess has a spiritual lord that is very, very, very interested and jealous of her. He doesn't ever want to see her or share her with any man. That is why she can't go close to the prince. I said it. Huh. Eh? Shita, how did you know all of this? Hmm? Have you forgotten I'm the radio of this palace? There is no information that will pass me by. I know. Yes, and it's very obvious. Is it not obvious? When a man's life is at danger or because of a woman, it means her spiritual husband is at work. Have you forgotten? Even the chief priest said it. There is a force, a big force. Which other force? No, he said an unknown force. Chita, can you shut your mouth? This your tongue will land you into trouble one day. How can you be saying something that you are not sure of with so much confidence? Chita, <laughs> Chita, you have to be very careful. Because if the king or the queen hear this, trust me, they will execute you in this palace. And you know that. Just be careful. You guys are sounding like this because I didn't collect money, right? Or something, right? Please. With this even of information, keep it to yourself and don't give it to me. Okay, I know what to do. Next time, I will make sure to take money or food from you two. Stupid things. A certain palm fruit falls and a certain chick runs to pick it. And the palm fruit asks the chick, when did the disagreement start? It has come to my table that some of you here are making jest of what is happening in the palace. On no account should affairs of this royal household be breathed out or be made public. You are the palace domestic strength and must guide the palace jealously. When the house loses its embarge, both the house owner and the servants are always on the same wavelength. While you are here discharging your duties, I want you to be careful. This is the last time I want to hear about this. You are dismissed. Thank you, yes, Majesty. Long live, my king.
Hi. Hi, gorgeous. You okay? Yes. Do you remember this? Of course. I've always wanted one. How did you find it? My love, your happiness is my highest goal. I know we're going through a lot right now, but trust me, I strongly believe we're going to pull through. Just have faith in me. I would love you stand even the most severest violent wind. The feeling is mutual. I promise you this day, I love you and fight for us to be together for the rest of our lives. Please put it on. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. My face! Oh my face! My face! Are you okay? I, I totally forgot my prince. You, you should have pushed me away. I, why would you risk your life for this stupid necklace? Are you okay? Please. How do you, how do you feel? Let's say something. My love. I have always wanted to get you that necklace and wear it on you myself. I succeeded in doing that today. At the expense of your life? What if something had happened to you? How do you expect me to move on? Henceforth, please, whenever I forget, push me away. Please! How can I do that? My love, how can I do that? Even when I'm far away from you, the loneliness kills me inside. I love you so much. The necklace looks good at you. Looks perfect on you. Thank you, please. Anytime I forget myself and get close to you, please endeavor to push me away. Endeavor to do that, please. I don't like seeing you like this. Please. to me. What is it? I... I thought falling in love would be one of the best things to ever happen to me. But lately it feels like I'm I'm walking on a thin rope with hell beneath it. If I sleep and falls, the fire would consume me. My love, I understand how you feel. And this is heartbreaking. But you really need to give this time. 
This too will pass. No, mother. No. No, not before the death of him. I am his doom. If I stay close to him, I will lose him. But when I stay away from him, it feels like death itself. What do I do? What am I, what am I supposed to do, mother? What? What? What am I supposed to do? I can't stay away from him. And at the same time, I hate to see him struggle for his life simply because I keep close to him. You are not his doom. You are his blessings and happiness. You cannot blame yourself for what is happening. Even the chief priest is unable to tell the reason for this. Please, my love. Don't do this to yourself. It's hard to see you like this. Please. Please. Bonnie face, so yabu. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, mommy, thank you. Thank you so much. You promised me that you will give me a wife today. And I have found her. And I love her from the bottom of my heart. The soul of my spirit. <laughs> Pony face. Huh? I will never be your woman. Huh? Are you insane or something? Is something wrong with you? Huh? Even if this world is to be taken over by apes, chimpanzees, I will never consider to be your woman. Never! Bubuaso! Take it easy, man. Take it easy. I'm a human being. Uh, 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 Shida, do you think finding love is very easy like that? The answer is no. <laughs> I know that you are looking very, very... Mm, you are looking very, very beautiful. But... Any man that dare to marry is taking a very big risk. Yes! Meaning? Huh? Bonnie face. Hmm? Meaning? Are you referring to me as that witchy witchy princess that goes close to our prince and he feels like dying? Is that what you're saying? But your own, your own is worse. Your mouth is like a pit of hell. Your mouth has been guaranteed to untimely death. Any man who dares to marry you is already celebrating his death. Yes! Because your mouth can vomit everything. The ones they told you and the ones they didn't tell you. Yes! Because, anyway, sir, let me consider. Let me know if I can manage you. Will you love me? I want to manage you. <laughs> <laughs> In your dreams, Joseph the dreamer. Don't worry, the prince will soon break up with the princess, the witchy witchy princess, and then he will have my time. I will come close to him like his woman, and he has no choice than to look my way and show me all the love and attention that I deserve. <laughs> See, let me tell you, the love between prince and princess is like Romeo and Juliet, mm. including the dying part. No woman can separate them, including you. So I'm advising you. In fact, I'm giving you the last option. Look at me, name okay. <laughs> Come, let me love you. Let me love you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> yes, bunny face. Huh? <laughs> You're nothing but a joker. Huh? Keep joking. Pretty soon, you will be lying on the floor, cleaning everywhere for your own queen, the queen of this great kingdom. Hmm? By the time I become the wife, the queen to the prince, you will have no choice than to become a walking stone. And let me tell you, if you ever spill that nonsense again, I will give you a dirty slap. <sighs> it's yours. I you haven't reached like that. Well, yeah? So you, you want to slap me? I don't yeah? Sit down. Huh? See what it is your rudeness. See how you are talking to me. I just wanted to fall in love. Oh. Huh? I know it's a very big risk, but no problem. Ha! Huh? Oh, wow. oh. 
Cheetah. I see the way Boniface looks at you. Are you guys having a thing? Yeah! Bupaso! What are you saying? Boniface and I? How does that sound in your ear? God forbid! I will never have anything to do with that fool. And what is wrong with that? You are sounding like the guy is beneath you, and he is not. He is just a guard, and you a maid. Because we are all maids. So what is, what, what is wrong with that? Really? You are a maid. I am a queen in making. If you address yourself as one, please do not address me as one. Because pretty son, <laughs> just pretty son, I will carry my prince's child. I will be pregnant for him. I will become the queen. And you two will keep on serving me with that stupid bunny face. <laughs> Daydream. <laughs> now I understand the kind of person you are. You don't fear for your life at all. So what makes you think that you can get pregnant for the prince who is engaged to the princess? Wait. So you call that engagement? God forbid. That is not engagement. That is a death threat. When our own prince's life is at stake, with that witchy witchy princess, ah, it's very obvious you two are naive. There is no way our prince will marry that stupid witchy witchy princess. And I know our king and our queen will never allow it to happen. So my dear, get ready to applaud your new queen pretty soon. <laughs> and please, Cheetah, you see this conversation? <laughs> I was never part of it. In fact, I didn't hear you saying it, okay? Me too. I am not part of this discussion. The king has ordered everyone in this palace to desist from discussing this. I don't know why you keep bringing it up. <laughs> really? You see why you guys are very shallow? Your minds are very local. Yes! So you expect I, Shita, to say something and not talk about it? God forbid! I will only stop talking when I'm dead. As long as I'm alive, anything wrong from me. Whatever I see, I will talk. That is why God created me and gave me my mouth. Keep talking now. Yes, leave it. Keep talking. Leave it for me. If you want my king, but he can't even look at you. You don't have it, baby. You don't understand. But what you really do? I have it. I have it, even that princess, the one on one with you, with you, princess, stupid thing. Rubbish. Absolutely, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. But you know, we need to, we need to, uh... Yeah, we need to put more money. My prince! Oh, my prince! Hey, my prince! Oh, hold oh, me, hold me, my prince! Just hold me! Hold me! Yes, hold me! Hold me, hold me! Hold me! Stop it! Don't think that it's yours! My prince, okay? Stop it! He won't chop me, oh! The rats won't chop me, my What's wrong with you? It's the rats! What do you think this is? Okay, hey, stop! Stop! That's enough! What is it? Okay, they go rats! He did it! He could never shoot me! Hey. Go! He 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 go! Don't ever try this again! What gave you the right to touch me? Right. If you do this again, I'll deal with you! Get out! Sorry! Hey! Oh. My prince, don't go there! The rats! Hey! My prince! Let's go. I can't believe there's still no rest from the chief priest. We can't let this go on forever. Our children are in pain. I agree with you. I think we should seek other spiritual sources for this solution. Do you have anybody we can consult? Actually, I do. But my husband warned me never to meet her. She is a powerful witch. A gifted one at that. Well, in as much as we need solution for, for this, I will not advise you to disobey your husband, the king. But one thing we should know here is desperate times deserves desperate measures. We can't afford to waste time. Yes, my friend. Yes. 
We can't sit and do nothing. A lot is at stake. I will contact her and book an appointment. That will be fine. I can go with you. Because we need to put a stop to all this. We need to put a stop to it very fast. It's okay. It's okay. I would like to know uh, after talking to her. And that was what she said. You know, I was praise. telling you, I said. May the gods be praised. May the gods be praised. May the gods be praised. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did something good happen? Yes. Why are you excited? I have always known we are meant to be together. We are destined to be together. Oh, congratulations <laughs> to you, my yeah. friend. Congratulations to you and Boniface, the palace guard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you laying cross on me? Have. And that's your stupid bunny face. I am talking about the prince and not that fool bunny face. The prince? Yes. I went close to him. I held him so close to myself, very tight. And you know what? He didn't even suffocate or feel like dying. I knew this is fate. It can only be fate at work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you mean you held the prince? Yes. What sort of boldness is this? Cheetah. Hmm? <laughs> you know what? When you are in love, you don't care or fear anyone. Don't worry, I will give him something that will make him forget that witchy, witchy princess and focus on me. All his attention will be on me. I will give him that love that will give him peace and not harm or endanger his life. <laughs> Chita, do you know you are actually asking to be killed? Yes, you are calling for your own death. I'm telling you. Can you imagine? Why don't you stop this madness you call love or whatsoever you call it before it kills you? Just stop it. What was I thinking? That you two will support me or be happy for me? Oh, I thought I would come and share my joy with people I call my friends. Oh. But it's very obvious you two are nothing but enemies of progress. That is what you are too. <laughs> yes. Do you know what you are? You are just a desperado. Don't worry. Very soon, I will become the queen of this great kingdom. And you two will be serving me, pampering me, feeding me, and doing everything for me. And I will be with my prince. Thank you, gods of our land. You are worthy to be praised, my prince. <laughs> Why is all what did the gods say? Your Majesty, they have not spoken up to this moment. Unlike them, they don't used to keep quiet to this extent. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Uh, could their silence be for good? It can be of bad. But my advice to you is to consider another marriage alliance. He is going to be the next king of this kingdom and the part is working with the princess is that of the dead. Wise ones, wise one, these are bare assertions of the gods, yet they have not spoken to you. Yes. Do you now speak on your own volition? No. I speak based on what I see. Forget this marriage alliance and look for another one. That's my advice. Why is it? One more. You must find a solution. Tell the gods they can't stop me. It is Lily or no other woman. Fifi. It's okay. 
Okay. Ah, hmm. uh, wise one. I'm one. I, I understand your efforts to ameliorate uh, the whole situation. But we must wait to hear from the gods. Let them give us instruction on what to do. Until then, things will not fall apart. Okay, Your Majesty. The gods have spoken. Welcome, Your Majesties. The burden of your children's pain is the hardest to carry. You already know the reason we are here? Or did you call her on phone to tell her? No. I only called for one hour to meet. I told you she's very gifted. I can see that. Look at you. I can see how worried you are concerning your children. But it's a love that can never be. What is causing this separation? Please, tell us what could be done to appease it. I cannot see the cause of the problem. But I can only see the dark cloud covering the heart of the prince. It stops him from going close to his love. It is a force to reckon with, unrelenting and determined to keep them apart. Which means there must be something you can do for us. Something to lift the dark cloud. I cannot risk my life in this. Tell them to end the relationship. Their life matters. Your Majesties, the cloud is not ready to go away. This is mysterious, so mysterious. You sent for me. Have you seen the princess? No, my prince. She has been in her room all day. All day? Yes, my prince. In fact, she refused to open her door. All right, that'll be all. Okay, my prince. Son? Mother. Are you okay? Mom, I need your help. I'm so worried about the princess. She hasn't been out all day. Something might be wrong. Son, do not panic. I will go to her and find out what the problem is. But remember, the distance. Keep it. I'm coming. to quit on life for this great love for my son. My son will do same. <laughs> Everyone says we are not meant to be. Why? Why are we still holding on? My 
princess. <laughs> True love is hard to come by. <laughs> and one thing you should know is that nothing good comes easy. It must surely come with trial and suffering. But I promise you, if we stay positive, solution will surely come. Please, put yourself together. Let's be positive. Please. It's okay, please. Man, looking at you, everything is still the same. The princess tried to overdose herself. According to her, that's the only way to protect me. What? Um, I hope she's she's okay now. Like she's better now. Thankfully, the queen intervened and it became a different story. Steve. Do you know why this is really painful? The princess and I have done everything to be together. But it looks like something is trying to tear us apart. My prince. I just think both of you should be strong at a time like this. It's trying times. I mean, it's a trying time and I, I, hopefully both of you will overcome it. So, I'm, I'm sorry you're going through all this and all I can do is talk about it and not provide a solution. I'm really sorry. I, I wish there's something I can do. Steve, I can't even help myself. How do I expect you to help me? If something happens to her, then life is not worth living. <laughs> Nothing will happen to both of you. I, I promise you, just put yourself together, okay? This also will pass. Yes. We were so delighted when we got your invitation. It gave us hope. I feel your body too. I want to help, but I must train with caution, or I could lose my life. Did you find a solution? Maybe, maybe not. It could be a temporary solution for the lovers to get closer to themselves. This is a protective bracelet, capable of destroying dark energy. The princess must wear it at night before approaching the prince. It has a powerful spell in it, capable of breaking the dark cloud and joining them. Hmm. Solution at last. Thank you so much. Please, can we have the bracelet? Yes. Thank you so much. But remember, the princess must wear it at night and give one million naira as a thanks to the elders for their support. Of course, that, that won't be a problem. That won't be a problem. Thank you so much, Rich Mayor. We are very grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have a protective bracelet from the Great Witch Mira. Have you heard about her? Yes, Your Majesty. I heard she's the last of her kind and powerful. Did she find the solution to our problem? Yes. She said this bracelet is capable of neutralizing bad energy. That you have to put it on every night before you go close to him.
Wait. Your Majesty, will... Will it work? Because even the greatest chief priest hasn't found the solution to our problem. Guys, guys, listen to me. Which mirror or the chief priest? They obviously have no clue. And mother, we have refused to believe that this entire situation is medical. It's a medical problem. Spirituality does not exist. However, I have contacted one of the best doctors in America. He is on this case as we speak, and he has promised to provide us with a solution. Facts, and not speculations, voodoo, and dark clouds. Yes, it's the truth. Doubting Thomas, while you await the arrival of your top doctor, I think I have to do what I have to do. My princess, you have to wear this thing every night before going close to him. Really? <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty, for your efforts. Don't mention. Your joy is my joy. On the news tonight. <laughs> what is new? Please, don't tell us what will put us in trouble. Hm. This news will not put you in trouble. Rather, it will make you very happy. But it will not come free of charge. You all will have to pay me one after the other. Agree? Yes! I risked my life to get this information I'm about to share. Hi. So start bringing out your money. Information hey. minister. Oh, Mon, are you okay. sure that this information is quite interesting? Don't you trust me again? The Palace Radio. Radio without battery. Who else? No Nobody. Problem. Okay, in that case, I will pay. Mm -hmm. What about you? She will pay, don't worry. And you? Rubbish. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> The princess is about to break the barrier. The queen has gotten a solution from the witch bracelet. Are you serious? Yes. I pray it work for her. Honestly. I pray so. I feel so bad for her. Huh. She has been so sad lately. But did the princess try killing herself? Yes. Of course, why am I saying yes? I am very sure she tried to kill herself. And then again, I wonder, why will I be a princess and then choose to discard my life just like that? If I take my own life, what is the essence of the love? I have to be alive for the love story to continue. See, let, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You see, Romeo and Juliet will disagree. Yes, but for a love story to be complete, to be emotional, that have to be involved. So I'm advising you, you should die. If I saw that the love story will be complete. What's <laughs> 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 out? And who made you the romance lecturer? Look at this fool. Look at this thing. <laughs> at because I'm here talking to you and giving you information. You feel we are in the same class, we are not. Hmm? I am the chief maiden here. Uh, yes. But I am, I am, I am, I am the CEO. In fact, I am, I am, I am general of Asia. Get lost. Uh, get to the gates. <laughs> Don't get easy. After all, you are the maid and he's a guy. Oh. What is that? Hey. <laughs> people do? Love minister. You can as well die for love. I would never. I'm in love with the prince. No, you know what's happening. <laughs> Oh, 
my God, it works. It works. It was a complete reversal in a minute. Princess Lily was the one dying this time. I think we need to keep a distance and get rid of that bracelet. Whatever we are dealing with must be mean and strong. Even the powerful witch mirror could not break through. <laughs> mm, my dear. What are we going to do now? Will there ever be a solution to this problem? <laughs> the whole thing is so scary. If you were there yesterday, you won't be in a hurry to mention solution again. What is the need of this solution if it's killing our children? You're right. That explains why the chief priest is not saying much on this method as much. This force must be deadly. Maybe we should take our time to explore other options that doesn't involve magic. I agree with you. Because we cannot continue to endanger the life of our children looking for solution. No. It's so scary. I am sick and tired of all these things. Hi, baby. <laughs> Meet my best friend, Shanice, the one I've always told you about. <laughs> oh, don't mind how she's looking all calm and nice. She's a handful. <laughs> Shanice, meet my baby, the prince, the future king of this land. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You're highly welcome. Thank you. I hope the journey wasn't too stressful. Oh, surprisingly, it was fun. And guess what, guys? What? I met someone new. <gasps> you met a man on the strip? Loud. Couldn't tell me all about him. Wow. You met someone new? Yes, that's the What? Who is this mystery man you met? You? Shanice? Did you see the shock on my face? I mean, I just realized the girl I used to sleep with, the girl I once dated, someone I've been longing to meet is actually my ex-girlfriend. What the hell is going on here? When did you become Shanice? 
come on, you don't expect me to be answering Beribe or Iberibe in the States. That's too local and unattractive for a lady. Oh my God. So why did you tell your friend about us? I mean, I'm, I'm very sure she showed you my photograph. Or did you not recognize me? Listen, what we had, it's all in the past. Lily is so happy and I'm not prepared to ruin her happiness with the truth. Like I said, we dated and we broke up. And that is all in the past right now. Now listen and listen good. I am not comfortable pretending to be a stranger to you. When there's so much history to unravel between us. I am not going to be that person to keep my fiance in the dark. She deserves to know everything about us. Wait, are you saying you're going to tell her the truth? So you want to ruin our friendship and trust? The princess would think I lied to her and she would never trust me again. Why didn't you think about this? Why did you not tell her about me? Because I didn't want to ruin her happiness. She's my best friend. Okay. I am going to reiterate myself. I am not going to be that man to keep my fiance in the dark. I love her so much and she deserves to know everything, every single thing that happened between us. Wow. I, I didn't know it was this serious. Are you saying that medicine and magic failed to solve this problem? The last attempt almost took my life. I'm beginning to forget what it feels like being close to him. Shanice, of the truth, everything is a mess right now. And I fear that it could get worse. And you think this love is worth it? Has it ever occurred to you that the answer you seek is the one you already know? Oh, it is. That you are not fitted with the prince. Yes. My darling, just quit this relationship. It's not worth your lives. Quit now for your safety, babe. Shamis, please, please don't even say that again. Please do not ever repeat what you just said again. What are you saying? Asking me to quit is like asking me to stop breathing. Listen, I love this guy. This is a man after my heart. I will fight for our love if that's what I must do. Yes, I will. It took me a lifetime to find a love so perfect. And you ask that I quit? No. I will fight for our love. I, I, can't, I can't give up. What now? I've come a long way. Wait, did you, did you say fight? Princess, how can you even fight something you don't know or see? My love, please, just, just quit for your safety. Please. What is... What is... 
What is my ring doing in Shani's bag? I... This is... This is the ring that connects two hearts. To think I thought I'd lost this ring in the States. What is it doing in her bag? This is... This is my ring! What is this doing in your back? I lost this ring. And I remember I kept asking you if you saw it. But you vehemently denied. I ask you again, what is this doing in your bag? Because it fell out from your bag. Okay, I, I, I later found it. I wanted to return it, but I kept forgetting. Shanice, you forgot a secret ring that joined my heart and that of my fiancé? What do you have against my relationship? Come on, princess. That is you going too far. It was just an innocent mistake. I had every intention of returning it, but it kept slipping. Oh, no, just don't stop saying that! What slipped from your mind? You forgot. Shanice, you knew how important this ring was to me. What if this has been the cause of our problems between the prince and I? This ring was what joined our hearts, but I lost mine. I asked you several times, but you denied it. You hid it away from me. You kept it to yourself. You held on to it. Why? Princess, I'm sorry, but I meant no harm. It was just an innocent mistake. Please believe me. I trust you. I'm sorry. Let me go! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I trust you. But I meant no harm. Shanice, I trusted you. I trusted you. I told you my deepest secrets. I took you in like a sister. Oh, I'm going to believe this. I don't even know what to believe. There's, There's something, something I want to tell you. It's fine. You go first. So I was going to say your best friend, Shanice, is my ex. Yeah. And um, I found out when she showed up here. I used to know her as Barbie. Yeah. When we dated, her name was Barbie. I wanted to, you know. Wow. I wow. Are you. Oh. Now. That explains it. So she... She knew you all this while and... Never said anything about it. She never made mention of it to me. Oh. Now I see the reason she held on to the sacred ring of two hearts. It's beginning to make sense to me. I beg your pardon? I thought you lost it. How come she has it? She... She, she, she said she... found it... somewhere and forgot to... forgot to give it back, but I doubt it. I mean... She, yes, she's your ex, but... it is crystal clear she still got feelings for you. She's... She's been trying to ruin our relationship. Oh, God. She's been the one 
behind all of these problems. I can't believe it. I... By the way, do you still have your ring? Of course I do. It's very valuable to misplace. Shani's. Oh, it's beginning to make sense to me now. You know what? I think we found a solution to our problems. My princess, I'm sorry. I didn't know my mistake would cost you so much. I kept the truth about dating Prince in the past because of the girl code we both share about not sleeping with the same guy. I, I saw how happy you were and I didn't want to ruin it. Please, I hope you find a place in your heart to forgive me of my mistake. Thank you so much for having me in your home, Your Majesties. Permit me to take my leave now. It's okay, my child. Be safe, Shannis. Thank you, Majesty. Tell us about this sacred ring. At the Lover's Shrine Oversea, those who seek lasting love, hopeless romantic like myself and the prince, buy a pair of rig. Some come with padlocks, bless them, and join their hearts to beat as one. I lost mine only to find it in Shani's possession a few days ago. You think not being able to wear the ring has something to do with separation? Very likely, Your Majesty. If you're wearing the ring, we must see if that's the solution we have been looking for. That's right. Go ahead and hug each other. We have waited for this morning. We found it. Oh, that's good. I'm lucky. <laughs> Your Majesty, I think my past is haunting our children. Well, what are you talking about? What did you do in the past that you were not supposed to do? You know, when people are in love, they do crazy things, forgetting that their past will come haunting them even when they don't expect it. Talking about past. Uh, and why do you think that it has anything to do with the issues on the ground? When I was a teenager, there's this young guy I was in love with. We were so much in love that we took an oath. <laughs> It 
it was a blood oath. We vowed never to leave each other. Until I met you. Fell in love with you. And I forcefully broke that yoke. And I am sure he's not happy with me. So, how does that connect to the issue of my son and the princess? My lord, he might be angry with me and lay the curse on me and my generation. Please, I beg you, permit me to look for this young man and apologize. Let me beg him to forgive me. Please, my lord. If I say no, you continue hurting yourself, thinking that you are the cause of the whole problems. If seeing that man is an option to clear yourself from this notion, then you have my permission. But the uh, guards, of course, and the maids will accompany you. <sighs> Thank you, my lord. Thank you so much. I am slightly relieved. Thanks for your understanding. Your Majesty, I hope I have done nothing to be someone like this. No. But most, instead, I was the one that wronged you. You know we were still in love when I forcefully separated us. We were still very much in love and we were ready to be together. Please, my dear, I am here to ask you a sincere question. And I want you to give me a sincere answer. Please. Did you lay a curse on me or my children for causing you pain? My Majesty, not at all. It is true that I was hurt and thought about cursing you, but when I heard you were engaged to a prince to become a crown princess, I knew you were destined for bigger purpose than me. And taking an oath of everlasting love was childish foolishness. I forgive you a long time ago, Your Majesty. I am a commoner. You are a subject who is only married with grown-up children. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I am very much relieved now. Oh, thank you. I, I, I feel so relieved now that I know that you have let go of the past. Oh, may God bless you. Bless you too. Thank you so much. Okay. You may leave now. Judging from your expression, uh, things didn't turn out the way you expected. Good news or bad news? Good news, Your Majesty. Okay. All these years, he had forgiven me and understood that we are destined to go our separate ways and made peace with that knowledge. He didn't curse me, nor my children. Really? That's fine. But you're still sad. My lord, 
I was hoping that it's all my fault. But thank God today I could fix it. It's still not my fault. I think someone is punishing us. Or is it that the sins of the parents is being visited on the children? How do we know the exact sin that our children are paying for? If that's the case, that a chief priest would have told us about it. Your Majesty, I never knew a day would come when I would question the abilities of the chief priest. Are you sure he still hears from the gods? What? Do they still favor him? Because I'm beginning to question all his words. My queen, are you implying that you're losing faith in the gods? Without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. You don't need to give up and stop pressurizing yourself. There must be a solution at the end. As much as we want them to be together, we should also not undermine the power of faith. If the faith wasn't there in the first place, they won't be together. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I really appreciate it. My daughter. Yes, Your Majesty. We heard what happened between you and your friend and how the found ring did not still fix your problem. That is why we came to see you. My princess, you know you can always come home to breathe a different air. You don't have to stay here risking your life to defeat this force. Mother, I understand your concerns. But you see, the truth is I must do what I have to do. She really did hurt me. She dated the prince and hid the truth from me. And then she went ahead and held on to the secret ring. Why? To think I thought she was a well-wisher, but no, her heart is dark. She is against my love. I understand that you feel disappointed and betrayed. Yes, I am disappointed. Don't you think if you had known that your best friend dated your fiancé, you wouldn't have given him your heart freely? You will feel some sense of responsibility and respect to your best friend by not dating her ex. Mother, are you saying that she did nothing wrong? I'm saying she had her reasons, though it appears bad. But nobody is perfect. Nobody. She made a bad decision. Please. Forgive your best friend. I know how much you love her. Please. I'll try. Oh, fine. I, I will forgive her, but I'll never trust her again. Don't. Trust is a burden. You stand the chance of losing any time you try to trust. Even if it is given free of charge. My daughter, I would rather advise you listen to your mother. Disregard anything that will weigh you down now. Disregard it. Did you get that? Yes, Father. We must leave now, but be very careful. Let's go.
So how's the building at the market going? Oh, very well and good. And the workers are working tirelessly to meet up with the commissioning date. That's good news. Yeah. They have to work harder. A lot has been invested in that project. Of course. Of course. I don't know if it's me or... You look tired. Are you having difficulty sleeping? Well, uh, I would say lately I've been worried. And I always worry each time I'm not able to save the princess. I put her in danger any time I go close to her. And right now I can't even reach out on the phone. I feel so bad about it. Um, my prince, you have to calm down. Hmm? I understand your fear. But the princess I know loves you so much. She loves you so much that she can't leave you just because you are unable to come to her rescue when she needs your help. Okay, take for the case of um, you and uh, Berry Bay, your ex. That could have broken the relationship or even destroyed the trust. But look at where you guys are now. Steve, I totally understand your point, but, you know, I love the princess so much that I don't know what I'm going to do if something happens to her. <laughs> you worry so much. Nothing will happen to her. By the way, where is the princess? Did you tell her about the dream? No. I couldn't tell her. She's going through a lot right now, and I do not want to add to her problems. Mm. She's going to see her parents. She needs some time alone. She, she needs a different environment, you understand? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um, but really, really, I think you need to give yourself a break. I mean, you deserve it. You worry so much. You are the one who told me that you don't believe in spiritualities and, and you're giving this much thought to a mere dream. You're letting it weigh you down. I mean, it's written all over you. You deserve some peace. You deserve some... I mean, you give yourself a break. Oh. Our radio without battery. Okay. Now, I mean, information minister in this okay. palace. Oh, mm. please, what is the latest? Hurry up with the money. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Bring money. Without money, I can't talk. Really? For where the Please, engine. so make sure that as I am paying you, you are giving me the right information. Hurry this up. This money is not for anyhow. I can't pay for nonsense. Uh, I hope you will give me latest information. Latest one. Please bring money. My radio doesn't talk without money. What about you? Am I begging you? If you don't want to bring your money, you get you zoos out. Let me give this people the authentic information that I have. I hope water from that your stupid thing will touch that money where you won't give me. Make it smell for here. I hope you know, make it they look me like that. See, look. I know what I passed through for me to get this money. I hope this news is a legit news. I'm not begging you. If you don't want to listen, zoos out. Then hold me and say what you heard now, eh? The suspense is killing us. Okay. Relax. You all have paid good money for this information. And you trust me, I am not radio without battery. Here it goes. You remember that girl that came here from Obodo Yibo, the princess friend? Yes, 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 yes. Um, you remember? Uh, yes. Of course. 
that same girl that came from Obodo Yibo. Do you know she was dating our prince before? Bahamukunaze. Yes. Huh? She kept it away from the princess, her friend, that she knows our prince before, and they were 18. That is bad over. Very wicked. Could that be the reason the princess cannot go closer to the prince? Because anytime she tries to do so, his heart keeps failing. Like he begins to suffocate. So we thought, mm. solution at last. But then again, the princess wore the ring, the prince wore the ring, they came close together, and the prince started suffocating. He wanted to oh. die. Hey! So it was not even the best friend that caused it. It is still not the ring. What is forcefully keeping these people apart? You're asking like you don't know. Who else, if not the princess? Is that witchy witchy princess? Huh. Can't you see how she is? Oh, Yibo Pepe, can't you see her eyes? Can't you see the demon in her? There are so many demons in that princess. She has like over 50 what demons. I am not screaming, I'm saying the truth. I am saying the truth so that the gods can hear me. She is the one at fault here. I'm only very concerned about our prince. Mm. I don't want anything to happen to my prince mm. tomorrow. Mm. That witch will just bewitch our prince and mm. my prince will just go away from me. She's so personal about this. Why is she so personal? Look at you. Look at you. Mm. Anyway, see, I only paid for a sexual nose, not personal opinion. See, one day they will cut off this your head mm. and this your mouth that is swearing like a rain will close. You will stop talking. <laughs> I don't see, 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 you know what? I want all of you now to go out of this place. But before them, what am I going to you stupid? Eh? After the information I've given to oh, you, uh, you must be stupid. stupid. Please, give me, it's it's give me my money. It's not what you Give me my money. Give me my money. No, give me my money. No, give me my money. If you touch me. Give me my money. My prince. Sorry, can I have a word with you? Yeah, sure. My prince. I want you to know that we are all worried, especially me. I'm so, so worried about you and everything that is happening. I always have you in my prayers. I pray to our gods morning, afternoon and night to please provide solution to this problem. Thanks for your prayers. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Um, my prince, <laughs> don't, don't look at me like a common maid. Oh. I, I, I know I'm a maid, but my prince, I am very, very gifted. I have spiritual gifts. I, I, you see all this thing that is happening between you and the princess? I know what is causing it. Eh? I know the, the cause of the separation. I'm very serious. I know. Hey, before you proceed, I'd like to ask you a question. <laughs> Have you not been instructed to stay away from every conversation that has to do with the royal household? In other words, didn't the king instruct you to mind your business in this palace? Hey, I don't trust you. You talk too much. Yeah. And I can see a lot of desperation in your eyes. Now listen and listen good. Keep your distance away from me. That's an order. My prince. See my prince. It's, it's not what you think. I care so much about you. My prince, look at your face now. You're not happy. Get out. You, my prince, you, I, I care about your happiness. Please. I said get out. My prince, hey, look, just look at hey, you. Hey, will you, will you get out? I need to take care of I you. I said leave. I'll buy you very well. You deserve it. Are you all right? Yes, my prince. Now leave. You're looking very sick. I don't like you. My prince. Are you out of your mind? Yes, sir. 
I see you fired another shot at press and you missed. Yeah. How did you know? <laughs> you monitoring spirit. Whoa. Aren't you just mind your business? I don't want your really near for. Hmm. <laughs> it's like someone deceived you that uh, Prince will see you as a woman, but Prince won't see you as a woman. No, really? <laughs> yes. But you have been on my case. You have been chasing me everywhere because you know I'm a beautiful woman. Uh, 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 it's because my mother appeared to me in my dream. My mother told me that you are my wife. You are the soul of my soul, the spirit of my spirit. In fact, the backbone of my backbone. Understand? See, I want you to come. Come, let me love you. Let me love you unconditionally. See, I want to ask you a question. And how can you be loving a man who is ready to risk his heart attack to another woman? Huh? In fact, to touch, he cannot touch. Don't touch me while speaking that nonsense. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. But he is dying. Hmm? He is dying. He has been forcing himself even to touch in that dying condition. See, have you seen a man like that? Let me ask you this question. Which woman will not like a man like that? Who is ready to risk his life because of love? See, let me tell you. I am like a prince. I am like a prince. I am like that. I can risk my life because of love. <laughs> yes. But I have a problem. I have a serious problem. And I want to ask you this question. Now, any man who desires to have you, will die on timely death because your mouth your mouth is ready to put that person to die suddenly it's a shortcut it's a shortcut to have fire it's a short oh yeah oh yeah love oh wow yeah but despite all distance despite all distance i have a good news for you i have a beautiful news for you do you know what i would like to take the risk I would like to manage you. I want you to come and marry me. Come. <laughs> I want to marry you. I want to have you as my own wife. <laughs> my mother will be happy wherever you are. the way you're laughing like a gorilla. That is me. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> you think with all these things you're spilling uh, that I, Shata, uh, will settle for you, I will never. Huh? And let me now warn you, hmm. stay away from me. Uh, are you hearing me? Um, stay away from me. Not because we're in the same place, you feel we're the same class, we're not. Don't ever. Did you hear me? Uh, see, see, I'm ready to do everything. In fact, I'm ready to care, to destroy, to in fact, to vandalize, to make sure that I win your heart. I win your heart. I will give you my own heart. You Our heart. <laughs> you will never have my heart. Huh? And there is nothing you will do to ever win my heart. Did you hear me? It's yours. Stay away from me. I am warning you. See, take it easy. You. you have to take it easy. I am burning. Burning one night. That is burning first. You have to love me because my mother revealed you to me in my dream. You will not run away from me too. I could tell Please, please, don't, don't, don't come close. Don't come close. Hey, Speak. No. Eh? Don't look at me. Hey. Oh, hey, Stop. My own stop. Stop. Don't come now. Is your wife come? <laughs> oh, I am the one. Hey. Who needs to stop before? Hey, hey. Sagan. This pala doesn't belong to me at all at all. It belongs to King and the Queen. If, if you need sacrifice, ask them, not me. I am not married my God. I am not married Ah! <laughs> 
it? Huh? What are you doing here? Eh? Were you not supposed to be at the gate? Wait, though. Do not tell me you slept here. Uh, 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 yes, I slept here. You did? Yes. You did? Yes. I, I slept there. That I'm serving the royal house doesn't mean that they can use my head, my soul, and my spirit for sacrifice. <laughs> What's mm. this one saying? Eh? Do, do you have a high fever? So, uh, Shita, Shita, you read you without battery, so you didn't tell them. You didn't break the latest news for them. That there is this particular ghost, a ghost maid that always parades herself in the night, seeking for whom to consume, seeking for whom to use as a sacrifice. Yes! In this palace? Yes. What are you saying? <laughs> a ghost in this palace? I saw it with my two naked eyes. In fact, with my two corrosive eyes. You see, the king and the queen need to confess. They need to do confession. They need to tell us what happened to that innocent man. That man has so to be restless, even in death. That was your mouth. You see, it's your mouth. Today, your mouth is about to put you in great danger. Look at this fool. Boniface, you don't have sense. You want no sense. Eh? You're senseless! So, small common ghost! Is what you're running? <laughs> Help me! Oh. They have killed me! Oh. Like foul! <laughs> so, 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 so you, you, you saw me! I, I was screaming, mommy, mommy! So, don't tell me that you saw the ghost too! Eh? Next where you from? I was the ghost! It was just a prank! Yes! I wanted to know, come up with me, I hope you But no one will kill you, you don't have anything. And you'll be saying, Shita, I love you, I want to be your man, I can protect you, and this is the way you will protect me? A common ghost, you're running, calling mommy, mommy, like foul! So that stupid prank was your doing, right? Hi, you were going So you made me to endanger the entire royal house by leaving my gate unguided. You were Okay, wait. Huh? I don't even know why they gave you this uniform in the first place to be in this palace. Oh, you think you're qualified to be wearing this uniform? You're not. Come on, come on, ghost, you're running. Come on, prank, you're in a boss. How will you even guide this royal home? It's what you were busy shouting. He, crying. Crying. he was busy crying and shouting. Somebody that said, I love you. I will take care of you. I will be your man. I will do this one. I will fight the whole world. I will do this one. Just small prank. I just wore white. But it doesn't make it. Turn my back. Even if it's you, you will run. Eh? But you're still a man. Yeah, you're still I mean, it doesn't make you less a man. You can still give him a chance. He gave him a chance. If I'm not a fool, I will give him a lot of chance. He gave him a chance. My wife embarked on the a journey to the past, a vast singular action got me thinking. A journey to the past? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Oh, do you mean a walk through the memory lane? Yes, and the thought of atoning. You know, that was very brave of her. That uh, made me to admire her the more. She thinks that the children might be suffering from their sins of their father. So she thought of who she might have offended in the past and reached out for reparations. Hmm. That's very, very thoughtful of her. Are you thinking in the same plane? Yes, because we may have hurt someone in the past and out of slight, the person cost our generation. Maybe that is the forces that is playing right now. I guess we should take the walk down memory lane and see how we can atone for the past mistakes. We should think deeply about this. I agree with you on this. Let's do that. Let's do X. Your Majesty. It's obvious that your chief priest is doing all humanly possible to unravel this mystery and solve the problem. Just like the old saying, two good heads are better than one. So 
I brought my own chief priest. So that both of them will put their resources together, put their heads together and bring a lasting solution to this. I appreciate the King of Oba. A great one, you're welcome. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. You see, when trees falls upon trees, first, the topmost must be removed. The very reason you are summoned to demystify the mysteries and the lives of the prince and the princess. Please be in your good spirit to tell us what you truly see. Your Majesty, I bought a cocaine so far. When I saw the apple with the money, I have a The cloud, the dark cloud between them have extended. <laughs> and I sense the rage of the power behind their separations. I sense it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the happening on the civil and gun game, yeah. No, I don't know. I have to tell you because of the end. No, I shall be able to one and next one and no say, and my children one in the one and about Jake one and look. It is growing so desperately. Growing so desperately. I'm not joking, no, Mario, no, we are. I don't know, we are, or my own. The unwavering resolve of the lovers angers them all. It worsens the situation. It makes it worse on daily basis. And nothing can be done. Its determination deepens more and more. Nothing can be done. For no mortal questions the gods. Oh, wise one, this is profanation. Are you saying that this dark clouds are indispensable? Yes, Your Majesty. It is. The two lovers must keep to their distance. On no account must they come <laughs> to each other until the solution is found. <laughs> <laughs> Be warned. Social distance angers the force the more. Do yourselves the good you can. They must maintain that gap until solution is found. Then go to work, both of you. Do everything humanly possible to unravel this mystery. Find out where this force is coming from. Because we cannot continue to identify with what we cannot see. The deity must identify itself. Go to work. Consider it done. I feel reassured seeing that um, a chief priest from your kingdom has the same opinion with the chief priest of my kingdom. The gods are one and the same, and the gods are not authors of confusion. Before the gods will present this particular force that we're talking about, the force must be ready to present itself. Well, while we are waiting for the gods to speak, what about exploring other possible reasons? You know, we talked about putting our work down the middle lane. And the thought of uh, Lady Maria popped in. Well, considering the fact that we married different women all together, I don't think that would be a problem. Uh, you know, we both fell in love with Lady Maria. <laughs> she gave her heart to you. But because of the friendship we both shared, the thought that you are being a snitch 
considering the fact that you knew that I had fallen in love with her. Then you abandoned her into helpless loneliness. Have you thought of that? Yes, I remember that she felt hot as at that time. She felt we used our hearts and abandoned her recklessly. But my king, do you think she cost us? Or do you think that is why our children are suffering today? Nothing is certain. But it is worth looking out for. We need to scout out where Lady Maria could be. So we invite her. Let's have a tete a tete to know if uh, she is pained still as a result of what we did to her in the past. So how are we going to do that? Remember, we both fell in love with her when we are not kings yet. We were boys then. How do we go about that? I'll fix it. I have someone who can search for anything, anyone, even to the very ends of the earth. You will fix it? I will. Then do that. You don't look well. You look pale. Have you not been feeding well? You actually look the same. And you're worried about me. Yes, I am worried about you. I am worried because my existence next to you only endangers your life. I've been having a series of nightmares lately. In these nightmares, you... you choked. You, you, you choked. I never got better. Sometimes I feel like we let our fears become reality. You need to slow down. Do not let what the chief priest told you get to you. Nothing is going to happen to me. Only if I go away. Please, my prince. I need to stay away from you. I agree, I, I, I miss, I miss kissing you, touching your face, being like a puppy around you. But I have to go. What's stopping you? Why are you holding back? If you truly miss kissing me, then come kiss me. I mean, I can endure a chest pain in exchange for a kiss from you? Come on. This is not some sort of a joke. This is serious. I mean, you shouldn't be treating this with kids' gloves. Don't ever consider risking your life for a mere kiss. This is no child's play. I think you worry too much. And we need to stop having this conversation about you leaving me. You're not leaving me. I don't want you to leave me. You're my hope. You're my happiness. You mean everything to me. I always want to be in your arms. This is mysterious. So mysterious. So. Any update from the medical expertise overseas? Yes. I have been examined and he said my heart is in perfect condition. Oh. I have nothing to worry about. That's nice. Okay. So now, are we going to give spirituality a trial? Because anything that science cannot explain is a mystery. Steve. I hate to confront what I do not understand. I have been working so hard to find love. And now that I have found love, something is trying to separate me from the love of my life. That's weird. 
Okay. What do you intend to do? Do you think you need an exorcist? <laughs> Why is that? Because you think I'm possessed? Of course not. The spiritualist said, there's a dark cloud between you and your lover. And this could be a demon. And you know the exorcist can help. Steve. I know I said I am going to give spiritualism a chance. But I still do not believe in dark clouds. I feel like it's complete nonsense. It doesn't make sense to me. So let's talk about something more important. Eat as much as you want. With this food, you two have donated. I will give you the latest gist. Hmm. This one, eh, is Genge. Oh, Genge. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> to us. Are they going to be using us for sacrifice? <laughs> Since this issue began, is that your fear? Of course. Maybe they might even ask us to leave the palace. Kick us out like nobody for the fact that we know too much. Don't you think so? Uh -huh. And you think they will kick you out without cutting off your tongues? Hey, that means they will cut off our tongues before they kick us out of the palace. Of course. Yes. You know they have such power. Honestly, they can hey. do it though. But that's exactly what they will do. Because they know if they allow you to leave the palace, you will go out wagging those tongues. <laughs> yes. <sighs> but anyway, will you people allow me to give you the gist? Or I should continue it on my Talk to us now. 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 Eh? Sorry for digressing. Just talk to us. Give us the gist. Okay. It goes this way. The king and the queen went down the memory lane. You know, the kings and the queen thought that their children are facing problems from what happened in their past life or the sins they committed long time ago. But shockingly, it reveals that they are innocent. It's just a force. Hey, this is a scary force. Very strong force. Yes. What does it want? <laughs> eh? Are you asking? No. Does it mean you don't have eyes to see? Anyway, the force wants I, Sheeta to become the next queen of this great kingdom. Uh, 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 Chita. Did I donate this food for you to start talking about what you're about to say now? I wonder. Does it mean you don't want me to complete the gist? Please go ahead. There is a maiden who was so much in love with our prince. The maiden was so much in love with the prince that everything she had and everything she wanted was the prince. But she was not royalty and they wanted the prince to marry royalty. So the maiden died. Why grieving for our prince? And then the maiden now is fighting for justice. That is why the maiden is sending a force. And that force is our prince must marry a maid. And that maid is I. Shita. Can you see? That is why all these problems has been happening. Hey! Thank you. 
I came to uh, inform you about the games at the court. What is it? What is it? What? What? What's wrong with you? She was crying. What happened? I can't say. Did someone do something bad to her? We need to find out. Why, why was she crying? Let's find out. Let us stop assuming. And find out what is wrong with her. Yes, okay. let's go. The distance. Oh. Let me do the talking. What happened, my dear? Were you planning to kill yourself? Why did you do something so drastic? I thought the coldness of the water may wash away my frustration. No, my prince. Oh, you shouldn't, my prince. I want to give you a hug. No. I endanger any man who comes close to me. I endanger every young man's life. What are you saying? You're not responsible. The forces are. This is not your doing. It is my doing, my prince. The forces operate through my body. It is best I leave this place for I cannot be the cause of your death. Dear, what happened today? Why are you sounding this way? to the gate to meet with the guard. Upon getting close to him, he began to choke and gasp for breath. Getting close to him endangered his life. What other forces are we searching for? Is it until I kill another man? Please let me go. <laughs> so you're telling me that she drenched herself under the shower fully clothed? Yes. She thinks she is the problem because she believes she puts everyone in danger, especially young men. But how come all of a sudden she's taking the entire blame? What happened? So Boniface went close to her. Okay. And suddenly he began to react like I usually do anytime I go close to her. Hmm. This is serious. So tell me, do you think there is something in her? Probably a force 
that tends to snuff life out of every young man that gets close to her. She thinks exactly so, but I have my doubts. I want to believe these things are happening because we're in love with each other. On the other hand, Boniface is just someone who hardly shares a physical proximity with her, so. Boniface the gate man? Yes. Okay, what do you intend to do? Steve. I strongly believe this is a prank. However, I intend to find out what happened that night. Okay. So how do you propose to do that? Good question. You'll go close to the princess. Give her a hug and let's see if something bad happens to you. Yeah. You heard me right. No. Not me and you. Ah, what if I die? Come on, man. No, what if I die? I could die. Steve, stop being a child. You're not going to die. <clears throat> right? Nothing like that is going to happen, okay? You are not sure. Else, there won't be need to try. Okay. I'll write down my will. And... Um, what else? <sighs> Steve, stop being a child. All right? Stop blowing things out of proportion. Come on. Just do this for a friend. An old friend. Whereas this is risky. But I will. Okay. Okay, I will. Hi -ya. Hello? Why would you come close? What? What is wrong with you? I was only saying my greetings. Why would you come this close? You can't say your greetings standing there. It's been a while I saw you, my princess. So? Is that why you should hug me? What if someone sees you and I? And then has a misconception of your intention? Don't do that again. Then that wouldn't be our fault. We're not responsible for what people think based on what they see. Meanwhile, how have you been? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> it's alright. Please don't do that next time. It's okay, my princess. Um, sorry. You say. You sent for me. What happened between you and the princess? Ah, nothing happened, no. Nothing happened. I swear to God who made me. Nothing happened, my prince. You almost choked to death, didn't you? Uh, are you okay? Uh, yes. Oh, you care for me. Ah, I am 100% okay. I am all right. Yes. Uh, um, my prince, we all understand that whenever princess comes close to any man, that person will automatically fall sick. You can easily testify to that. In fact, I become better when she left me. Yes, from now bounce. What can I hang about it? Yes. <laughs> so how do we explain that of Steve? He went close to the princess and nothing happened to him. Are you telling lies? Hi. Uh, hi. Uh, 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 my prince, please. If you can spell me, if you can not punish me, I will tell you the whole truth. Uh, I swear to God. Start talking. Are you stupid? 
Wow. Let me make me see. How dare you touch me? <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I know it. That there was attraction between both of us. See how you are blushing. Who is blushing? You're blushing. Which attraction? Eh? I was only shocked that you, 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 you barged in on me. Are you stupid or something? But I was very, very extremely happy. When you told me that I should come and meet you here, um, I want to ask you, have you accepted my proposal? Will you marry me? Will you be my soulmate? <laughs> yes. Will you marry me? Just answer me. It's very obvious in where Uche. You don't have sense. I have made it very clear to you that you can never have my love. It takes a lot. I'm very expensive. You can have me. For you to have my love, there is something you must do. And you must perform very well. If you don't perform very well, count me out. You can never see me. See, see, see. I want you to tell me whatever you want me to do, I will do it as long as you will love me. In fact, who do we need to care? Because I'm ready to pieces anybody right now. Close your mouth. You're not clean anybody. You talk too much. Oh, I don't like talking too much. Hmm. Eh? Yeah? I'm an action woman. I don't like it. Now nah, listen. What See, is it? Uh -huh. there is something you must do. Okay. If you want to win my heart. I don't like talking too much. You know it. Uh, I want you to pretend to be dying. Anytime that witchy witchy princess comes close to you. Huh? What is it? Ah, 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 again. Look, uh, the king commanded us that anything involves in this royal house, that that thing should not be our business. I want to ask you a question. Why are you risking your life by involving yourself? Eh? Kiriyoze. This is why I said, You don't have sense. You see why you can't be my man. You can never be my man. Because you more sense. See, let me tell you. If you must do this thing, eh? Except you don't want me. If you want me, you must do it. If you don't want me, just get out. I'm not begging you. No, 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 no. See, 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 I, I, if, if I do it, you become my love. See, eh? I want you to do this thing. Don't you love your prince? You don't want your prince to leave. I, 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 that girl needs to leave this palace. Don't you get it? She's a witchy witchy princess. She has so many demons in her. Hey. Hey. She has demons in her. Hey. Hey. She needs to leave. We need to protect hey. the future king of this kingdom. This is our great kingdom. Our prince is so cute to have such a demon as a wife. You have to do this thing for him. Oh. Except you're not serious. You get out. Uh, uh, I'm going to do it. As long as... What the first way? In fact, do you know what? I will do it with one condition. I want you to come and tap here. Alanapogi. Eh? Alanapogi. Get out. You look very serious. Get out. Yes. I will stop. 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 How dare you? Well, the question should have been, how stupid can you be to have made her go against the instructions of the king? Are you out of your mind? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, my, my prince, uh, uh, you risk your heart by coming close to a woman that can kill you. I am a man, you are a man. We do understand what men can do for love. Yes, my prince. Really? Yes. So are you trying to compare my situation with the princess to your worthless relationship with Shita? Are you aware she's taking advantage of you? Are you aware she is taking advantage of you for her selfish reasons. Hey. Call her for me. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, let's stop.
you asked to speak with me. Are you okay? I should ask you that. Are you okay? Listen, I know it's been a... It's been a crazy time. You've been stressed out this past uh, few weeks, days. But don't let it get to you. Just relax. I feel everything is going to be fine, all right? I don't think so. I don't think that it will get better soon. I endanger the lives of every man around me. Being close to them kills them. And what surprises me the most is that you are not believing any of it. Lily, I understand how you feel. I mean, I know I get sick anytime I come around you. I mean, I choke and I gasp for breath and all of that. But trust me, it's not your fault. There's something behind it. And what you experienced with one of the guards was fake. It wasn't real. Yes. I watched you closely after Steven gave you a hug. I expected something bad to happen to him, but nothing happened to him. So I became a bit curious. I confronted the guard and he opened up to me and said it was a prank. Hold on a second. Are you saying that Steve hooking me was your making? Well, it's not entirely so, but it was deliberate. I, I saw you, I watched you closely. You blamed yourself for everything happening. I had to, you know, make it a point of duty to get to the end of the matter. Yeah, and trust me, there's something behind everything. Something bigger than both of us. And I'm sorry, I mean, I, 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 I didn't like the way you felt about holding yourself responsible for everything that happened or that's happening. But I still, I still, I still think it is best that I go away. <sighs> You heard the chief priest. You heard what he said. He said, our unwavering resolve, despite the physical separation, still angers the forces involved. You heard this from him. You heard from the horse's mouth. Why are you still keeping me? My love, you can't leave me. Don't even think of that. The life you're trying to save is going to be meaningless without you. And I believe everything is going to be fine. We don't have to worry too much. Please, you're not responsible. I am not responsible. And there's something out there. There's something out there bigger than us. Please. Should give an excellent performance. Did I not tell you? 
you. And I made it clear that I don't want you to get caught. And what did you do? What did you do? You allowed that with you, with you, princess, to still remain in this palace. See what you're saying. See what you're saying. I risk my own life and I defy King's command and I fool the entire royalty. I try to die because of love. Because of love. Don't I deserve a kiss? Or even this one. You would have given me this one. After risking my life. After risking my life. You made my prince, my own prince, see me as a liar. Do you know? You endangered my life after everything. You cannot even own up and just take all the blame. You allowed him to see me as a liar and leave me that stupid witchy witchy get in this house. If you don't leave this place down, if you don't leave this place down, I will use this shoe and design you. Oh my God, I, I, I kind of want you to I kind of want you to I, I couldn't lie because the prince figured out the truth by himself. Oh, yes. Oh, really? Yes, the fact still remains that. I still love you. Hey, I still love the You still love me. Get out. Get out. Are you stupid? I can't help. Get out. I can't help. I will design your face. I will design your face with my shoe. I will design. If you come close to me, I will design your face. You're very stupid. I can't help. 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 I took advantage of my feelings for her. Hey! Hey! So, 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 uh, I, I would have died for nothing. But me so now, and my... Are you still there? Are you still there? It's your stupid thing. What? I don't want to know more. Who never will lose a gun? Who never will lose a gun? I gave me a dindo. A boy, I want to get a boy. I want to get a boy. Hmm. I'm not going to wear a boy. I gave me a dindo. The Lord will deliver the love for 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 the love Hey, I hear what you're looking at for now. For hey, no more than no more than a ransom. No, Jamaican, so Jamaican. I hear when I tell them, you say, one of your tell, you say, one of them, you say, one of you say, one of you say, hey, no donkey. I want a girl there. Bonheur, <laughs> Why is it? Why is it? Do you know Bura? Bura Loke, Bura Lore, Bura Lafo, Bura Lanko, which you told me are the most of me. What do you know? Lee? Lee, da? Lee, ma? Abomu, where is the diva? Lee? Thanks. Can you go here, see, man? No, no. Prince. Were you hurt? Are you all right? Yes, I'm, I'm very well, thank you. All thanks to you. What happened to me? I, I, I slipped. But you caught me. Oh, my prince, you shouldn't have done that. You risked your life. Yes, yes. I, I remember. You tried to fall. I rescued you, yes. Yes, I did. 
You shouldn't have done that. You and I know you shouldn't have done that. But wait. Is your life unimportant to you? What if you had broken your head and bled to death? I'm relieved. Ah, that was so close. It is best I leave this palace. Please, my prince, permit me to leave this palace just so we, we stop running into each other and having these casualties. Please, let Princess. me go. Princess, we had an agreement. You promised you will never talk about leaving me again. I tried to warn you about the water on the floor, but the music was too loud. It is in your best interest to stay apart. Today, the prince is not recover. Despite the fact that the princess stayed away. Did that cloud is getting more furious, trying to claim the heart of this prince without bringing it back. Let what happened today not repeat itself again until the solution is found. It's okay. Take it. You must use your mind to stay apart. Okay. okay. Yeah, my yes, let me take my leave. Oh, yeah, dragon man. Thanks for coming. My son. Ah. My son. Yeah. Please wait for me. What exactly are you doing here? Don't tell me you're hiding. I've been searching everywhere for you, and here you are. What, what, what do you think? Are they going to spare me? Spare you? Did you do anything bad? I was the one who had been deployed when the princess lived. And as a result, the prince almost died. I was mobbing the floor, just left to pick his soap. And returned to see princess screaming for help. I was shocked and confused. I didn't know what to do. And is that why you're, you're panting, like you did something bad? My dear, you are doing your job. You do your job. As long as that princess remains in this palace, oh, our princess' life will forever be at risk. I don't know what she's still doing here. I am supposed to be the one that the prince should be looking at and taking care of. Not that stupid witchy witchy princess. What are you saying? We are not talking about this now. Are they going to spare me? Spare you? Did you do anything bad? That's what I'm asking you. Ibarado! Eh? This stupid witchy witchy girl that is always parading herself like the princess, dressing so fine, different hairs, different outfits, as if this is a palace. Eh? Why is it that she's not looking? Oh, who is she? Why can't she see? Oh, that fool's up. She did not see that there is water there. She went and sleep to put you in trouble. And you're here talking so that my prince will come close and then he will die. Oh my very dear, it will never work for her. Chita, please. Is he going to be okay? I just want to know. Think all this long talk. Uh, you don't need to worry yourself about anything. The chief priest has already revived our prince. He's back to life. Thank the boss. Hey. He's okay now. He's okay. I'm just very paid. That's everything. All my effort to remove that girl and make the prince see me. Yes, their love is still very strong. He's paining me. You see that girl? That witchy witchy princess. Ah, her time is coming. And that's why you're here, panting. No, 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 no. Biko, come, let's go.
You said you woke up and couldn't stop itching. Yeah. I I woke up from sleep and I began to itch. I'm suspecting skin infection. Oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing like that. Besides the drugs and the ointment I prescribed, I will take care of the itching. Huh? You'll be fine. You'll be fine, my friends. You'll be fine. Your Highness, I beg to leave. take my leave. Okay. You said you woke up and started itching. Yes. Did anything bite you? Or should we look for bed bugs? Look, I can't do what the, the house is fumigated already. Let's go home. Mom, I had a dream. In that dream, I, I, I had a bath with an old sponge. Yes, and I woke up and began to itch myself. I think something has to be done because I don't feel comfortable anymore. Um, oh, relax, relax. I will um, call the chief priest. Perhaps he will have a explanation and a message from this. Hi, mom. Son. How are you feeling now? Are you still itching or has the itching subsided? I feel better. The medication I got from the doctor is very effective. Mom, I have a question to ask. Did I bait with an old sponge? I used a very familiar one in my dream. An old sponge? Yeah. <laughs> so look around. We are royals. We use quality things. Mm. Why will you bet with an old sponge? When you have a good quality sponge to bet with. A sponge made of a very nice material. Mom, you're right. I can't bait with an old sponge. I'm just afraid because when I begin to itch, it's usually uncontrollable. And it scares me because I'm unable to control myself. The forces are trying to get your attention. I think the chief priest will have an explanation to all this. So, please, do not worry yourself. You'll be all right, okay? All right, it's fine. I heard your voice from my side. What is this disorderly noise for? Um, my father, I, I just had a dream. A dream? Yes, a bad dream. I, I had a, a glass of orange juice in my hand, and I. Uh, uh, I was going to drink it and it turned to blood. Yes, and I, as if something was f 
forcing me to drink it. Really? A and suddenly it turned to blood. Oh. That's not a good sign. The chief priest must hear about this. Son? Are you cold? What is hot here? No, turn, turn it. Turn off the air conditioner. It's turned off already. What's going on? Everywhere is hot. Are you sick? Uh, son. Mom, turn off the air conditioner, please. It's turned off already. The one close to the dining hall. It's oh. turned off. What's oh. going on? Oh. 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 You're itching? Oh. I can't see it. I can't see any rush on me. I can't see any rush on me. What? Mom, turn off the air conditioner close to the dining, please. It's turned off. It's, I can see something on you. What's that? What? Did you draw a tattoo? Huh? No. I can see a symbol of love on you. I've what, never what, seen this thing before. What does that mean? Love? What, what are you talking about, Mom? I didn't draw anything on my body. Look at it. I think someone put that there. Mom, can you turn off the AC close I to the... I said it's turned off. Everywhere is hot. I'm cold. What is going on? Turn off the AC close to the dining. Are you sick? Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. This is totally strange. It's very mysterious. I've never liked tattoo my entire existence. I don't intend to have one. So how did he get there? <laughs> I recognize the mark. The mark is from Goddess Azera, the goddess of sacrifice. <laughs> She uses it to mark her own people. Mark her people? Yes. Are you implying that the prince belongs to the goddess? The appearance of that mark shows that the goddess has chosen the prince to be her own and she's not ready to share him with any other woman. Yes. Oh no. This is not happening. That's complete nonsense. Huh? Yes. I, I don't believe what you're saying. I mean, this is a prank. It is obviously a prank. I probably slept off and someone drew this on my body just to make me believe I belong to some goddess. But I do not believe the prank. I don't believe it. It doesn't make sense. You are honest if I may ask you. Can you tell me what you've been going through in your dreams and nightmares all these days? Can you tell me? Yeah, you, you're right. I have... I've had a few bad dreams and a series of nightmares. And one of them I can remember, I had a bath with an old sponge. And when I woke up from that dream, I began to itch seriously. I began to itch my body. Yes. That is the goddess calling you. She never wants to show herself. What? what? Yes, the goddess. She is the brain behind everything. What, what does she want? Now that they know she's the one responsible for all this, acquire to know what she wants from us. Your Majesty, I have to go back to the goddess and get her messages and tell you what you must keep to your distance. When you are to go to the house, you go to the house, you go to the you must keep to your distance from the princess. This is another note. And the other one. Your Majesty, permit me to leave. 
touching my, 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 my only son. No, this is not happening. I know you are overwhelmed with everything going on. All my life, I have never believed in spirits or magic. But here I am. I am compelled to believe I belong to a goddess. My life is out of control. Nothing makes sense to me anymore. For the first time, it is beginning to make sense to me. Now that we have found the forces involved and the one to consult or appease, I think it is best I leave. The chief priest will come up with a solution. And when that is over, I will return. Why are we going over this? I thought we agreed you will never talk about leaving me anymore. Why are we having this conversation? She hid herself all this while. I'm talking about your spiritual lover. My being close to you provokes her. The reason she kept punishing you. So you see, it is best I leave until a permanent solution is found. Look at me. Please. Do not leave me. I want you to stay. At least, let's hear from the gods. Let us hear from the chief priest. Don't go away, please. It's okay. I will stay and hear what the chief priest has to say about the goddess. Thank you. This looks very scary. I know you don't like tattoos or any form of drawing on your body. So wh wh what's this? Steve, this is a prank. Someone put this here. Someone put this when I was sleeping. But the question is who? And can you imagine the effrontery, the guts, the person hard, opened my door, walked into my room, saw me sleeping, and put this here. This doesn't look like a drawing to me. It looks permanent. In fact, it looks like a birthmark. So, what does this signify? Tell me. According to everyone, it's a permanent mark that connects me with the goddess of sacrifice. In other words, I belong to her and I am not supposed to share her with another woman. Now it's making sense to me. Oh! This is why your heart fails you whenever you come close to your lover. Oh, she's trying to protect her territory. She, she, she's being jealous. I mean, she's punishing you for being unfaithful. <laughs> you see? Steve. I don't believe this is real. I want to believe I'm hallucinating. But just in case I'm not, and let's take for an instance, this entire situation is real. Mm -hmm. And I belong to the goddess of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. The question is, what does she want from me, immortal man? I, 
must tell you the truth, my prince. The answer is obvious. Because adding to what the chief priest said and the mark on your body, she wants you. She wants you, but the question is, how can you be dating a spirit? I mean, a spirit. Have you thought about this? Uh, at this point, I am officially scared. And from the look of things, my prince, your spiritual whoever is a jealous type. I don't want to be involved. So let's say I am dating a spirit. How am I expected to make out with her, kiss her, oh, touch her? Oh. I don't even see this person with my eyes. <laughs> I can't even fathom this. Wise ones, you're welcome. Thank you so much. So tell us, what did you find? Communion with the deities. <laughs> the goddess is a lover of sacrifice. By sacrifice, I mean a common thing humans can give. Truth. Truth indeed, Your Majesty. She wouldn't ask us to give her anything. Rather, she will put us to test just to watch whether the sacrifice, our sacrifices, will attract her attention. And what is the implication of that? Does it mean she wants us to use our own discretion? Is that what it means? Nothing is certain about Goddess Azeza. We cannot tell if he can be pleased. We have to sacrifice. But that thing that can make her speak. Yes. Oh. But the sacrifices are not the solution, as it were. It's just for her to speak, isn't it? She wants to see how badly you love her. So she is intentionally keeping quiet, watching how you go about. Oh, wise ones, I suggest that we do not waste time concerning this whole thing. You consult the deities. Suit yourselves. Try. Let us know what they want, the sacrifices that is required. And we're here to provide them. Whatever they need, we will do it just in time. Your Highness. You have to communicate with the gods and get back to you. Nobody can. Yes. I cannot do more than a song and a mayor on your talk. No more than a mother has to go to a hair. No more than a mother. <laughs> and until you do so, the majesty, the prince and the princess must stay apart, must keep their distance, they must. And that is not to attract the wrath of the gods, not to anger the goddess, which could lead her into acting rashly. Uh -oh. That is observed. We will do just that.
Your Majesty. Why are you out here? I was missing you and I set out to search for you. You look so worried. Why? I thought as time goes on, everything will become easier. But it's becoming tougher. Should we say that when it gets tough, the end is always in sight? We now know who is responsible. At least, if we are fighting, we know who our opponent is. If we are trying to negotiate or to appease, we know who we are doing that to. That to me is a solution. You are right, Your Majesty. But of all the men in this world, why our son? Why did she choose our son to be her own? That question can only be answered by the goddess. Come, let's go inside. I don't want you to sit here asking yourself several questions that need answers. It's not too good for you. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. I'll tell you some stories. My father told me that when it is hard, that is when the solution is always going to Greetings, Your Majesty. May your reign be long and healthy. You say, wise one, you're welcome. Yes. No. The goddess needs an uncommon sacrifice, something that is not easily obtained by humans. Have you thought of something like that? Before you answer, I have a very nagging question in my mind to ask you. Go on. And I believe you have an answer to that. Yes. Why the prince? Why did the goddess choose my only child? My only son? Answer me! It is only the goddess that knows why she chose her soul. And one of these days, she will tell you why. Of all the men in this life, why the prince? Is it that I'm being punished for my misdeed in the past? The goddess is not the one that goes to people randomly. You might have gone to her and she gives without reserve. Oh, a wise one. I, I, I remember that we were the ones that met her. She didn't come to us. I, I can't recall, you know, pledging something that I did not fulfill at the end. So what's the force of the man? Your Majesty, as mortals, we don't rely on our memories. But the deities, they don't forget. What we need is the tusk of a baby elephant and the back of a tortoise. It was a sacrifice. I beg your pardon? Why is one? Where do we get those from? Uh oh, well, hush, sons. It's okay. I'll do everything for your freedom. Why is one? Thanks. I will patiently wait until you make your findings so we know the actual requirements for all of this to be done so that we will gain our freedom. I've heard you, I will not call this a sacrifice, but a way to appease the gods. The gods have spoken.
<laughs> Madam, are you out of this world or what? Madam, you have been very quiet lately. No breaking news or information. I just hope you are right. Nina, not only that, she has stopped bragging about her undying love for the prince and how both of them were destined to be together. Chita, don't tell me you have given up already. And <laughs> because you cannot do that. It was easy fighting when the princess was my rival. But how do I fight Goddess Azira? She's fearless. She's scary. And she's a jealous lover. Uh -huh. She doesn't even want anyone to come close to the prince or anyone she loves. She can kill. So how do, how do you expect me to contend with her? Who am I? Uh. I am just a common maid. A common maid. Uh, okay. <sighs> <laughs> this girl is not feeling fine. <laughs> Chita, hey. you are very, very funny. I thought you were running your mouth. Calling the princess witchy witchy princess. Now you have said the real witch, you are running away. Ah uh ah, -uh. you cannot. Let me even ask you, were you ever in love with the prince? Huh? No, no, you, because you cannot give up. Even the princess has not given up. She is still fighting for her love. Please, take what belongs to you. Take what belongs to you by force. You cannot give up. Bro. Keep fighting. Trust me, you will get the prince. Princess Own is understood. At least she's betrothed to the prince. Yes. Now you know. So she has every right to fight. What about me? The prince doesn't even look at me. My sight detains him. He doesn't even want me to come close to him. And you expect me to give up my life for him, a man who doesn't even care or love me. No, I know I love him, but I can't give my life up for him. Now you know. Oh, <laughs> wow. Thank Goddess Azira. You are the queen of all queens. Mm. So if you were not in the picture, this stupid girl here would have never come back to her senses. Excuse me. You are welcome, my dear friend. What is that supposed to mean? Did I go to another world before? Uh -uh. Uh. So you didn't even know. You have been in the lands of dreams and imagination. But right now, my friend, I welcome you back to reality. <laughs> you are welcome, my I dear I don't friend. blame you two. I know you two are nothing but jobless mates ah. and jealous mates. You're, jealous You're not that, to be that, supporting me. We are not jealous of you. We are jealous of you. We are telling you the fact. We are telling you the fact. <laughs> She knows that she's a bitch, she cannot fight, she don't want to die. She don't want to die, she's, she's afraid of dying. <laughs> when they say that love is blind, she is crying, she, her eyes is closed. Well, you're welcome. Dan, please tell us. Is our sacrifice accepted? <laughs> hey! I'm gonna cook her dad's only. Unfortunately, she rejected the sacrifice. Well, yeah. So what else does she want? Does she want my heart ripped off and offered to her? Is that what she desires? Calm down, my prince. The goddess is always everywhere. And she might not like it too. Get away. Don't tell me that. That is totally unacceptable. I am not the one forcing myself on her. She was asked to save me. Why is she keeping me hostage? She can't force me to love her. Besides, I don't see her with my eyes. What the hell is going on? What makes us think this entire situation, this goddess and her shenanigans isn't fake? Because anything you can't see with your eyes is not real. 
It's not. Why is one? My prince. Why is one? My, 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 my prince. Why is one? Please, please, do something. Oh, we're back. We're back. To the war. Oh, we're back. Hold on, hold on. How we should do the book? Well, you never put a car. Many Jitofu, more boy of Rosa Valley, who could do that with it. Go to what I'm going to do. Goddess Azera. Oh, Azera. 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 But has no intention of killing him. Oh! She's going to kill him one day. Uh uh. She will not kill him. Marie Gurewayo. Green Kiri Kari Kri Odejo Odeliozu. Akula Kulu Ole Ana Boko. Omoyaka. Ori Ibu Oku Ema Fela Window. Obu Kui Ibu Eli Lala. Ibu Yaku Kula. My Prince. Your Highness. Permit me to take my leave. I'm glad. I'm going to go to the house. 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 My prince, are you okay? Are you... Are you okay? Yeah. I feel better. I guess my approach angered the goddess. It is true. She is everywhere. Say nothing else. You are provoking her. We are trying to appease her. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Wise one. Wise one. Wise one. Wise one. Is it okay? Is it okay? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Okay. Without the knowledge of my father, the king, and my mother, the queen. Your Highness. What do you want the honorable servant of the gods to do for you that they will not know? Wise one. Baba Mo. You said, and I quote, the goddess loves sacrifices. Yes. Uncommon sacrifices. Mm -hmm. The one very difficult for a man to give. <laughs> What do you think that is very difficult for you as a man to use as sacrifice? My life. It is very difficult for a man to give up his own life. Your Highness, are you telling me you want to use your life as sacrifice? You that we are looking for solution? Yes. I am ready to give my life in exchange for a three years marriage to the princess so I can produce an heir to the throne after my father. Ha! Your Highness, this year request is a great one and a difficult one. I believe you have to go back and rethink if this year request will be okay for your love or you are talking about yourself. Let me tell you, I will pretend that this meeting did not hold. I have to communicate with the gods and tell you what they want for their sacrifice. Mwale ku, ayi je ku kundi jito fuko di na vili mendo sobi. Makana wanya akula kwa lolo ya boroko ato to de kwenti ya mala mala ga. Ogeno kaka gadi vili mendo jito fuko di na vili mendo sobi. Oh, eba le rios, eba le bolike, mani dere le rios. Zuri yangu. Why did you not come into the palace? Because we recognize the fact that the world have ears. 
and whatever we intend to talk to you about is just here and it will not get out of this spot. Father, is everything okay? Are the people safe? My love, everyone is fine. Everyone in our kingdom is okay, except you. I don't understand, Mother. Well, we had hope of finding the solution to this thing happening to the prince. But knowing that it involves a deity, that's too hard to swallow. Are you asking that I quit? Are you, are you asking me to accept defeat after, after coming this far? My love, we know you have gone too far on this. They said fight for your love. We agree. But how do you intend to fight a deity? How? My princess, please think. You have a deity as a rival. I will fight by not giving up. By showing that my love is as strong as hers. Mother, she's loved him long enough and has protected him all his life. Do you think he will just release him without making sure the woman is worthy of him? Exactly our point. What length are you willing to go to show her that you are worthy of the prince? What length? This ends now. I mean now. We can't risk losing you because of this. Father. Father, please say something. Please. My love for him will prevail. I promise you. My daughter. Your mother is right. We are just concerned about you and your safety. Yes. This particular deity rejected all manner of sacrifices. Or do you want us to sacrifice a human being? Does the deity need human life? No, my daughter. The sooner you quit, that relationship, the better for all of us. Now that you can do that, now that you can quit, save this royal family. It is quite unfortunate that both of you have given up on me, but I will not give up. I must return to the palace. I cannot tell anyone that I met with my parents because the king will ask why you did not come say hello and I have no intention of explaining the reason. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye, father. Please, think. Wise one, tell us something good. Your majesty, what sounds good and pleasant is determined by the one who heard it. The upshot day has come and gone, and as expected, the goddess has spoken. What? Yes. Ah, That's nice. good news. <laughs> so, uh, what shall we offer to her? What she did sir? not. But you said they've spoken. Tell us what she told you. My Jereja. She felt heartbroken that you can find a way to get her out of the life of her son. I felt rejected that your son did not show gratitude for all she has done for him from his childhood as a boy. What she has done for him? Yes. Are you saying my son had an encounter with the goddess when he was a boy? The queen. You made it possible when you went to the goddess for the help. The time is told that your sick son will die. Yes. Cross of our land, please save my son. Save my son for me, please. 
Please, he's my only child. Please. <laughs> my son, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. He's <laughs> fine. His temperature is high. My queen, why are you giving up? My son cannot die. The gods cannot permit my son to die at this time. You have to be strong. You have to be strong. <laughs> he shall recover soonest. How is he going to recover when he's not responding to treatment? <laughs> The royal physician has done all they could, and they say we must prepare for the worst. How is he going to recover? <laughs> I do not believe in the words of the royal physician. My son will not die. We shall do whatever it takes. We shall seek solution everywhere to ensure my son comes back alive. My king, my son must not die. He is my only hope. And the future of this great kingdom. Please, you have to do all you could. Do all you could to save my son, I beg you. I beg you. My queen, be consoled. I shall do everything within my powers to ensure he's well again. Nothing will happen to him. Nothing. And he shall be alive to take after me, his father. You have to be strong. Stop crying. Stop. Everything will be fine again, I'll show you. Ghosts of my land. Ghosts of my ancestors. You cannot let me down at this time. Please come to my aid. Save my ailing son. My only child. I cannot. I cannot bury my child. Oh, ghost of my land, come to my help. Wise one, the royal physicians have failed me at this time. You are the only one that can help me. Our hope and trust is on you. What are the gods saying? Please help me. Save my ailing child. I cannot afford to lose him at this time. Your Highness, there is nothing the physicians can do. He is getting close to cross to the other side. At this point, only the gods will determine if he lives. Wise one, please save my son. He is my only hope and the future of this kingdom. I will give my life. I will give my life. If I must, please save my soul for me. Your Highness, the only way is to submit him to the deity. This is the deity of sacrifice and power. If you will agree to do that, your son will live again. I cannot withhold whatever that can give cure to my son at this time. Wise one, do whatever you can. Do everything within your power. Please save my son. I cannot lose him at this time. In my prime. Talk to the gods. Do whatever you can. But please, I want my son hell and hearty again. Please, wise one. Your Highness, I shall return with the healing materials tomorrow. But right now, I need to run an errand for the deity. Thank you, wise one. You have given me a hope. You have given me a hope. Thank you. Go well, wise one. And God's favor you. My son. My son will be all right. <laughs> Your Highness, this is the sponge used by Goddess Azera while she had her bath. Your Highness, it is a cleansing agent from everything dark and ominous. 
The water in this calabash is from the river. The goddess had her bath. I shall apply it on him, and he shall drink from it. Wise woman, is that healthy? Is he going to drink from the, the water she had her bed with? This is what the goddess requested. Your Highness. Of what use is it to question health and hygiene when my son's life is at stake? Wise one, go ahead. Do what you have to do to save my son. As you command, my son. This is your son. I present to you your son. Kill him. I present your son to you. This is your son. From this moment, you shall be well. From this moment, you shall be well. From this moment, you shall be well. You shall be well. You shall be well. Heal well. your son, Goddess Azira. Here is your son. Only you can do this. Only you can do this. Your Majesty. Yes. I shall feed him with the water. Go ahead. <laughs> My son. Yes, wise one. Here is the water. Take Please this. let me keep it. Remember, always feed him with the water. Thank you, wise one. I shall take my leave. Thank you, wise one. Thank you so much, wise one. Thank you. May the gods continue to favor you. Thanks for calling. Thanks for being here. Your Highness, may your days be long. You too. Thank you, wise Thank one. You. May the Lord, may the gods protect you. You shall hear from me. May the gods protect you. <laughs> My son is alive. <laughs> uh, I see. This has been the reason for those scary dreams I had. The old sponge. It was connected to the time I was a little boy. The goddess was trying to communicate with you for you to realize that she was not your enemy, but your savior. But we never knew she was going to take possession of him that day. <sighs> she asked that you submit the prince to her, for her to heal him, and you agreed. She has kept her own promise now. It is left for you to do your own. Wise one. Yes. Can we leave my parents out of this? Tell the goddess to deal with me directly. It is my life and not theirs. She might not feel okay if you talk like this, because she has saved you right from your childhood. Thanks to her, you live a successful life. Nothing happened to you. All she needs now is your heart. <laughs> yes. Wise one. Um, uh, Are you trying to force me to love a deity? A woman I cannot see with my eyes? That's like building castles in the air. It's like catching the wind. It doesn't make sense. However, isn't there something we can do? I mean, what we already talked about. Can you ask her? Excuse me, Kiffin. Isn't that enough? Kiffin. 
and you're trying to strike it, the deal with the goddess, that our concept, I thought we were in this together. Father, this is my cross. I have to carry it. I have to do what's right. Please. Your Majesty. I believe I've delivered my message. Can I take my leave? The ghost has spoken. Are you going to go? You're not going to go to the Your Majesty, you're welcome. I mean, this is an emergency visit, considering the fact that you are already here prior to my notice. Yes, Your Majesty. We gathered from my daughter and the chief priest that this whole thing involves sacrifice. The deity in question rejected the animal sacrifice that I've done already. And that leaves us to no other option but to do human sacrifice. That is why we have decided for us to come, so that we reason together. My king, don't you think that we should let these children be and stop this marriage alliance for their well-being and their safety tomorrow? My great friend, Oboa, I understand deeply how concerned you are about this. But to resign to one's fate is like to cripple fast. Sitting here deliberating on this is more or less like, you know, making haste, you know, to conclude. And saying that um, human sacrifice is what is required will be more like saying before the gods when they have not said. I suggest in my own candid way that we should wait for the chief priest to come. Who knows? There might be some other ways. Your Majesty, I have prayed and wanted our daughter to be married to your family. But seeing your son is already sworn to the deity gives me concern of safety for our daughter as a mother. Well, my friend, I understand your concern here. The princess might not be my daughter, but I consider her my own daughter. And no mother will endanger the life of her daughter. Like my husband the king said, let us not make a hasty decision. So that we will not make mistakes. Please let us calm down and wait for the chief priest to tell us the actual sacrifice to make. Yes. Please. Please. Uh, we have come a long way and it will not be good if we don't see the end of all this. I beg you to calm down, my friend. My king, please. Seeing the end of this determines the conditions attached. We won't be seeing the end of this if the sacrifice or condition involves our daughter. No, we won't. We won't. Uh, like I said, King Afunafu, let us put a stop to this marriage alliance. Please. Mother, do you wish to speak to me? Yes, my son. I was told you are planning to make a deal with the goddess. In this deal, you are going to live with Princess Lily for three good years. In exchange for your life. Mom, you know it is funny how news make headlines in this palace. 
You heard right. You see, I'd rather spend three years being married to her, having beautiful children, than living my entire life without her. You are really selfish. Prince of Badua, the future king of this kingdom. How can you offer yourself for a sacrifice? What will be the fate of the people you are supposed to protect if you now offer yourself to a deity? Mom, I intend to have a son. And you're strong enough to take care of my son until he's ready to be king after my father. That's the only way out. There will always be a way out other than you sacrificing your life. The future of this kingdom lies on your shoulder. How can you think of sacrificing your life? Don't ever consider your life a tool to discard for your selfish interest. I don't want to hear it. Love is beautiful. It involves the heart. But what we don't know is, no matter how much we love someone, when we lose them, as long as the heart is beating, it goes on to love another. Mother, if there's your speech, is tilting towards me leaving the prince for another man. My answer is no. I've known you to be smart. Why do you allow emotion to affect your good judgment? Why? Mother, why can't you say this man is my happiness? Why can't you understand that? I love him. Fine, you may think that I sound selfish because I am not putting your emotions and that of that into consideration. But I can't help it. It is my decision. It is my choice. I love this man. Can't you say it? Why can't you pity this mother of yours? Oh, here we go again. Do you think I will go on living if anything were to happen to you? The prince is the one with complications. Why do you have to be the one to persevere? Mother, it is not his fault. <laughs> it is not his making. He didn't choose this life. It could have been anyone. It could have been me even. Mother, let me ask you a question. Can you put me in his shoes? Imagine if it were to be your daughter. Then the prince wakes up one morning and abandons her for another girl. How would you feel? You are not wearing his shoes. Oh, you are wearing yours. And you don't have to walk in the path of tongues. Think, princess. Your life doesn't want the sacrifice. It doesn't. Speaking of sacrifice, I do not know what will be requested. But whatever it is, I will stand by the prince. Greetings, your highnesses. The humble servant of the gods is here with answers from Goddess Azira. Be uh, free. Tell us what does she require as a sacrifice for us? 
Thank you so much. The goddess said that the princess was buff with this sacred obo, the sponge, for seven good days on empty stomach. She will not eat. And that the princess must sleep in a dark room for those days. Then that room must be dark morning and night. I have spoken. Is that all? Yes. Then it's it's easy. Let me get started. No, 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 no. Not all that fast. The princess should do this. Why the goddess should decide if her mind is pure enough for the goddess to accept the sacrifice. But whereby the goddess rejects the sacrifice, the princess might lose her life. Mm. No. I said no. She will not do it. She will not do it. This is a trick to eliminate her. Aren't you wise? There is no way a goddess who has made up her mind to hold on to the prince will see the princess's heart body of him. She will not do it. She will not. As a mortal, you people talk from your head. Have to take time. Be careful. The deities doesn't talk like that, but they rely on their promises and their words. This is the sacrifice that must be made. You have to think. If you want us to do it, fine. Let me take my leave. Jitofu. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Please, can we think about this whole process, sir? There is nothing to think about. It is the life of my daughter that we are talking about here. The life of my daughter is in danger. My king, have you been able to ask yourself this question? Supposing the deity refuses the sacrifice, and the sacrifice is unworthy, what do we do? No. No, be a friend. Lily, get ready. You are returning back with me now to my kingdom. Now. Now. Your Majesty, I am about to lose the only woman who loves me. And you sit and do nothing about it? Son, we cannot force them to consent in giving their daughter's hands in marriage. Can't you just accept that this alliance is over? Why should I accept it, Father? Why should I? This is the only shot I have in a lifetime to be loved and you want me to lose it? Father, there are other ways. I can strike a deal with the goddess to marry the princess for three years in exchange for my life so I can produce an heir to the throne. I forbid you to talk about giving your life as a sacrifice. You are not a commoner. What's the matter with you? You are an heir to the throne of Bedouin Kingdom. I will not allow you speak clever things about your life. Father, you do not want me to lay my life, but you want her to lay hers because she's a woman. But I am a man and a future king. That is not it, son. It's about the princess. It will be so selfish of us to hold on to her when we know there is possibility that she might die, you are the future king. A king is a servant to his people. You will soon be the father of this kingdom. So please, it will not be nice for you to lay down your life. Don't even mention it. That you give in your life for a sacrifice to a deity just because of love. You think about it. Mom, I understand you perfectly well. But that totally means 
you only live once, the people are going to be fine. They have my father. My father is strong and healthy. And he's going to live very long. But I probably do not stand a chance. And mom, do I remind you that life without love is nothing. I'll try to convince my parents. I'll tell them striking a deal with the goddess is the only option we have. No. No, but, but I don't want that. Listen, I, I have decided, I have made up my mind that I am going to do the ritual. Please don't say no, please. No, my love. I'm not going to let you do that. Besides, we don't know. No one knows what she's going to do in the end. So I'm not going to let you do that. I'm sorry. But, but isn't that what love is about? Giving up your life for the other. I watch you suffer severe heart attacks, yet you keep saving me. You've risked your life countless number of times just to save me and you say no to this. Please. Let me reciprocate. I beg you. No. This is my fight. This is my complication. I am not going to allow you to sacrifice your life for my sake. That's totally unacceptable. If the goddess wants a life, she should have mine. Besides, I am the one she saved and not you. Listen to me. If you give up your life, be rest assured that I am going to give up mine as well. Let me save you. Let me save us, please. Please, I need to save you just as the goddess saved you when you were young. It is my turn to save you. Let me do this one for us. Lily, I am sure you have said goodbye to the prince because you are going home with us now. Your Majesty, I love you and mother so much, but I'm sorry to disappoint you. My heart lies with the prince. Can you stop being stupid? What is wrong with this girl? Eh? What is wrong with you? Do you think a deity that has held on to a man since he was a boy will find you worthy of him? Do you? Ha! God, the deity loves sacrifices. And a sacrifice is what we are not willing to give. And you are ready to sacrifice your life. You want to give your life to the deity. I want to ask you, my daughter. Is this a sacrifice or a suicide? Answer me. It is a sacrifice, Father. The essence of doing all of this is to see the prince happy and to live happily ever after with him. Even as I know, I might die trying. Yeah. Oh my God. You may think you are brave, but I put it to you, you are very, very stupid and foolish. If you die, he will go on to love another girl after mourning you for a few years. If he love you that much, I really do not care, mother. 
I really do not care if he starts loving another, so long as he's happy. His happiness is paramount to me. That's all I want for him. Listen to me, lady. Just listen and listen real good. It is the stubborn house flyer that do not perceive the stench of the excreta that follows the coffin to the grave. Exactly. I forbid you. And I disapprove of this marriage alliance. Now I command you, go and get your things. You are going home with me. The whole nonsense about marriage alliance is over. It's over. Father, separating me from the prince is as good as killing me. Miss Jenny is really getting on my nerves. Patience is being tasked. Greetings, Your Majesties. Greetings, Kifi. We are aware that you have a very busy schedule, tight one indeed. And we do not intend to waste your time at all. Please, right. my son, stop this relationship with my daughter, the princess. Stop it. You know, we like you a lot. Even consider you our son. We wanted this alliance more than anyone, but not to the detriment of our daughter's life. If you know, you still have an atom of love for the princess. Please, let her go. Please. Your Majesty, I care about the safety of your daughter as much as you do. I will not allow her to risk her life and her safety for my own problems. I have decided to strike a deal with the goddess I intend to marry your daughter for three years in exchange for my life. What? Is that the only solution you can come up with? Have you forgotten the future of your kingdom? Have you forgotten the crown? What happens if your father dies tomorrow? My dear, you have a duty to perform for your people. I want you to remember that. I'm leaving our daughter to pick up the ashes when you are gone. Did it not occur to you that she will be miserable as the result of your death? I may lose the will to go on living. Hmm? Your Majesty, I do not mean to anger you. But that's the only solution I see. And most importantly, it is my life, and I'm ready to sacrifice it. No, 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 my son. Nobody is dying here. As far as there is life, there is hope. Please, for life's sake, stop this relationship with my daughter and convince her to come back home to me. That is all I ask of you. Do me this favor, please. I do not want to lose my daughter. You are so restless, my queen. What is it? Again. Your Majesty, do you think he can give up his life for three years just to be with her? Oh, come on. The prince is just like his father. He's a lover and a fighter. I'm just praying that uh, there will be a better day so that all of this will be gone in the wind. How come when we were thinking about solution to combat this force? We never thought of our past. When we gave the prince to the deity to be saved. Even when he spoke 
of dreaming about this punch, we didn't remember either. How could we have forgotten a very serious issue like that? We totally forgot how weak he was when he was growing up. That he almost died. The sponge. Uh, uh, can you remember where you kept it? How can I remember? When I totally forgot about its existence. How could I? Uh, How careless okay. I was, okay. oh God. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. This problem is half solved. Uh, uh, you know what? Tomorrow we are going to search everywhere. We are so we search everywhere necessary for the sponge, okay? Ah, thank you. Thank you. Lillian, go inside here and get your things. You are leaving with us right away. Now! Father, I am an adult. I have the right to make decisions for my life. Is that how to talk to your father, the king? I'm asking you, princess, is that how to talk to your father, the king? You may be a grown-up, like you said, but you will forever remain our little girl. Now go in there and get your taste, just like your father said. Now! We are the guards! Come and drag my princess out of this place immediately! It hasn't cut anything. What nonsense was that? I'm sure the princess will obey you and not trying to use force. I am not going anywhere. My soul, my heart, lie with Kithi. If you want me out of this palace, then be ready to go with my lifeless body. I have never said this before. But you are forcing me to say that I am disappointed in you. I'm ashamed of you. Why are you threatening your father with your life? Or oh, you think you can provoke me by telling me that you want to take your life? Remember, it was your choice to serve the goddess. It was your choice to make that sacrifice. And I warned you about this foolish thing you called love. What love was that? <sighs> it was your choice. Please, calm down. Let me go and talk to her, please. My princess. Princess. You'll understand that there are things we cannot force. She is getting on my nerves. I understand. I hope you are okay, my friend. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I don't know what will happen to her. I assure you, nothing will happen to her. Princess is very brave and strong. And how love we conquer all odds. Do you remember what you told me the other day? That you consider my daughter the princess, your daughter, and you will not allow any harm to come to her. Please, from one mother to another, take care of my child. Stop her if you must, if she's putting her life in danger. Do not be afraid. I assure you, like I said before, she is a very brave girl. Hmm? You're welcome. Thank you. Let me see you to the car. Hiya. My queen, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Please sit. Thank you, my queen. What you are about to do burden the heart of everyone. I want you to consider the pain that your parents will be feeling and return back home. Why is everyone asking me to go home when I'm home? My home is with Prince Kithi. 
I am here to stay, Your Majesty. As noble and brave that this sounds, my princess, I want you to remember that once you step into that empty dark room to carry out that ritual, there will be no going back. This is serious. Do you know you have 50-50 chance that you might die? Your Majesty, I would rather take the risk than leave this palace and stay away from the prince. I want to do this. Please, let fate take its course. The prince must be very lucky to have a woman like you. Hmm. I pray that the gods will protect you and make you victorious. Amen. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your words are kind. Wise one, you're back so soon. Yes. I am here with a message from the goddess who says that the prince will marry his love for three years. In exchange of his life for the goddess, and the goddess has accepted it. <laughs> hmm. That's good news. I knew she would accept the offer. Okay. The offer is no longer on the table. I have made up my mind. I've decided to do the ritual. Wise one. This is a serious ritual. It concerns life and death. I must have to think well about that before I go into it. I have no intention turning back. the prince would have done the same for me. Okay, you have only 48 hours to think about that because immediately you enter that room, you cannot come out. You cannot change your mind. Right? Your Majesty. Yes. Permit me to leave, the gods have spoken. Where are you? I'm waiting for you. Hurry up. You, you called me? Yes, I called you. Okay. I hope all is well. <laughs> what is this? Open it. Oh. <laughs> chicken? Yes, chicken. Oh. I brought it for you. When I was frying it in the kitchen, I just said, let me just sneak out one for you from the king's own. Because oh I know you will like it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat it now. Mm. Why are you eating it? You have mm. package and nobody will see you. Mm. Still, you made my heart to rest. Yes, I'm very, very happy. But <laughs> Sheriba, <laughs> wait. I hope you are not trying to lose me again. Oh, you pretend to take care of me so that you will achieve your evil desire. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'm giving you attention now. You're complaining. If I don't give you attention, you will still complain. Kidiyage mo mo wa kemeto mo wama. Nothing. Mm -hmm. What you? you mean you don't have anything against me? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> That's a sign of love. Yes, I should call this one love. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> now, now, you see, I love you from the bottom of my heart. 
See, my love is not complicated. Hmm? I will give you the peace of mind. In fact, you will have this world on top of your backs. Like, give me this chicken. Now, I have something to sell. I want you to stop fighting for invisible lover. Yes, because you are too smart. And you just made a right decision. <laughs> it doesn't mean. <laughs> so, hmm? my love hmm? is qualified by Ano Koko. Hmm? Chicken. Hmm? So, chicken is where my love is. It's part of love. Ah. Hmm. Boniface, hmm? I don't blame you. I don't blame you. So, my love, very expensive love, is what you qualify for chicken. Um. I told you my love is very expensive, but you don't get it. Mm. Before you can win my heart, mm. eh? huh? like you will suffer. Yeah. My love doesn't come easy, uh. because I gave you the chicken, you're not going to hear love, love, love. Uh. Don't touch me. Oh, you can beat me again, or Stop shouting. Go in before these girls that are in this palace that are like gossiping. We'll come and see you eating this chicken now. Okay. I'll go. Hey. I'm going. You need to see chicken, man. Go in, Megi. I will go. Be going. I'm going. Come on. This thing sounds like a proposal. Yes, it sounded like Bonnie. I love you, Bonnie. Noah. I love you so much. Yes, oh, mommy. Thank you so much. Wherever you are right now, I'm thanking you so much. Hmm? My love story is about to begin. He died. <laughs> I thought you were fast asleep. I'm thinking How are you? I'm doing good. I have missed you more. You know, I've been thinking. You don't have to do this. Three years is such a long time to get married and have beautiful children. What? What happens when you are gone? Do you not think that I'll become lonely? Speaking about loneliness, I feel our unborn children would be around to keep you company. They would make you happy. They would remind you of me. And you'll never be lonely again. They are not you. In the cold and rainy nights, I will need you to warm my bed. Yes, I will love my children, but they can never take your position. Those nights, I will need my husband. I'm worried about you. 
I'm scared. Our love will prevail. I love you. I love you too. Get some sleep. It is very obvious you two are scared of me. I wonder why. What? <laughs> scared of you. How? Why should we be scared of you? For what now? If you're not scared of me, why do you go round gossiping with my name? Yes, if you call yourself a woman, come to my face and say it to my face. Chita, we are not scared of you. One bit. Yes, we see the way you throw yourself at Boniface after bragging that he's not up to your standard. Hey, hey. Don't mind her. <laughs> her conscience is breaking her because she doesn't say she doesn't shoot for Chita. Uh -huh. I thought you are so ambitious. You want someone so noble. It is a shame seeing you going back to the man you rejected openly. Throwing yourself at him, begging him to take you back. Oh, my dear, it's appalling. Is it your throw? Oh. Is it your body I'm throwing at but him? But it's my business. It's your business. <laughs> you should learn to mind the business that pays you. And that is cleaning and keeping the palace clean. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. Is it that you guys don't understand what's happening between Boniface and I? You don't. How will you know? All you do is wag your mouth. I'm a button dasher. Mm. See what you are saying? You are so shameless. Uh. So you know that you are going to accept him. Why all this drama for? Mm. For eh? what? <laughs> Why are you pretending? For what? No, at the end of the day, you fall for him. <laughs> I ask you, is it your fault? No. And what is wrong with a woman being able to know if a man really loves her? And what is there for a woman to carry herself with prestige and give a man long rope to be able to, you know, seek for her, show her he loves her and show her all the love and affection she demand? What is wrong with that? Mm. You will not know. You're local. Mm. You follow all these small, small chingong eh, boys. Madam that will give Hato you nothing. Gets. Madam Hato gets. For who, Kwanu? Boniface. <laughs> Princess Lily, tomorrow is the final day for the ritual. And you have only today to make up your mind. For all we know. The goddess is trying to lure you into a trap. Because I don't think she has any intention of releasing the prince to you, no matter what you do. So I am seeing this ritual as a death in disguise. Your Majesty. Yes. I am ready. It is time to save the prince. I am ready to do that. You see, this. This isn't just about me, but about our future together. Please let me do this. Honestly, I... I don't know what to say. But I know that this sacrifice will not be in vain. The gods will guide and protect you. The same. But my piece of advice, I would want you to return to your parents, stay with them for some time, you know, discuss some important things with them, finally, before you embark on this journey. Your Majesty, it will not be a good idea. I would rather my parents come here before proceeding to the dark world. If I go visit them, 
they are going to hold me against my will. My parents love me. They love me so much and they are scared of losing me. If I go to my kingdom, they will hold me against my will and I will end up not performing the ritual. It's okay. I will tell the prince to take your message to them. Yes, my dear. You have to rethink. Think about this if you will continue with this ritual. You are now ready to offer yourself to the goddess Azera. You will be locked in a room for seven good days. No going back for you. No going back from now onwards. Your fate lies in the hands of the deity. Say your goodbyes. There will be no goodbyes. For I shall return. I believe in the power of our love. And in the faith of our will to never depart. Please, pray that I succeed. Please, my daughter, come back to me. You are all I have. You are brave with a heart of gold. And the goddess knows that you are selfless just like the goddess. My daughter, you will come back victorious to us. I'm very, very proud of you. Go. My spirit is with you. My love, if this mission gets tougher and more difficult, I want you to call on me. I'll be there to help you. Who is your brave girl? Again, me. It is time. Let us proceed. You love him so much and would not release him to another. You've put me through all of this, not because you want to punish me, but to know if I am deserving of him. You do not want any harm to come to him. I am aware of that. The love you have for him cannot be compared to the love I have for him. But I am willing to try. I am willing to love and protect him just like you do. I love him more than life itself. Please. Please let me try. Trust that is in good hands. I will make him happy. I will make him happy. Please. 
release it to me. <laughs> release Prince Keithy to me. Release him to me. My friend. You look so worried. Princess is a very brave girl. She's going to be okay. Please. I'm worried about her. She has never had any reason to stay hungry. And today, she has to stay hungry for seven days without food or water. I'm afraid she might collapse even before this is over. No, we don't have to say that. Eh? We have to pray to the gods for strength. We also need to pray that all this her effort will not be in vain. Please, she's going to be okay. Please calm down, cheer up. Okay? I'm trying. I'm trying. That's my only daughter in there. I don't even know if she will make it out alive. She will. Let's be positive. She will come back to us. I know that. I believe she will surely come back to us. My good friend. Cheer up. Okay? Don't have to cry. Cheer up. Please be strong for her. Okay? Be strong. I'm worried about her. I went too close to the room and I didn't hear a sound. What's going on? Kefi. Just be a man. The instructions of the priest is very clear on this. We are not to interfere in the ritual. I know, but what if she's in danger? What if she needs help? We need to know what's going on. I need to go in there and bring her out. This is the fifth day. We have only two days left. If we go in there and interrupt the process, then her effort for the past five days will be useless. Just be patient and wait till the end. This is so touchy.
Wise one. What's happening to her? She's not moving. Is she dead? You need to speak to us. Something has to be done. Nothing can absolutely be done. Ah. This is not in my hands. It is not within my powers. The deity must decide her fate. No man interrupts. No man dictates for the gods. No mortal interferes with the process of the nature. And I cannot interfere. Hmm? Wise one, please do something. She's my only child, my only daughter. I don't want to lose her. Nothing can be done hey. than to just wait. It is all in the hands of the deity. What? She's alive. Long live the goddess. Thank you. Thank you for sparing my life. My love. My love. Lily. My princess. My love, it's me. Can you see me? It's me. Son. Please. <laughs> My princess. Princess. Hey. Are you okay? Hey. Hey. Wake up, it's me. It's me. Life. You made it. Oh. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. 
<sighs> the full moon is my blood. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it worked! Yes! <laughs> it worked! I'm happy. I saw it! Oh, Can you see that? I saw it! It's all It worked! Yes! Yeah. For the past few months, the royal families faced a battle with the force to reckon with. <laughs> Our unity and love put to test. But we thank the gods. In their own magnanimity, we were able to triumph at the end of it. <laughs> Having said this, I want to thank you, my good friend, King Oboa for believing in your daughter, even when the odds were against her. I say thank you once again. <laughs> <laughs> my in-law, my king. You know, at some point, we almost lost faith yes. in this alliance. Patience is a virtue. Seriously, I have come to terms with that. <laughs> but I thank the gods that made you to understand that our concern is just because we are parents. Yes. <sighs> it is indeed going to be the marriage of the decade. Oh. <laughs> I am happy. Me too. The alliance is going to take on so. Ah, I see. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Can you imagine? My people, yes. we have a royal marriage to plan. Oh, yes. Exactly. We waited for this day. Uh, there <laughs> There's no need to delay any uh, at uh, all. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yes. I'm excited. I know. <laughs> and I want to thank all of you immensely for your support, your kindness, and your love towards us. At this point, I'd like to bring this official. Uh, <laughs> I, I see. Come here, come here. Uh -huh. um, yes. Uh, this is my happiest day. Um, Princess Lily. I'm excited to be the love of your life. Uh, uh. But I'd like to make this official in the presence of our parents. <sighs> Please, will you marry me? Say yes. Uh. <laughs> A big yes. The full moon is my glow. 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 Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy finally. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. What a watcha. What a watcha. What a watcha. True highs and lows. Love takes its stance. True songs and sunshine. A bond
together.